Hey, welcome back to Champion Football Lemonade Banter. Chaz and I are going to discuss round six or seven games, whatever it was. And today is a lad who, probably stereotypical football player without a brain, who used to think people from Lebanon were called Lemonies. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I heard that on uh, Instagram, got a wee private message from someone that you, so you thought people from Lebanon were called Lebanese. That's just a pure stage that I'm not. <laughs> I've never said that in my life. Oh, what about getting your keys in the fridge? Heard that, sir? No? That's probably happened before, yeah. yeah. Uh, also, heard locked out your car three times in, in two weeks. Yeah, that, that happened as well, yeah. Aye. It was cheaper to get NRMA. That was fact. <laughs> Apart from that, it's uh, Temba from Appia. How you doing, big man? Yeah, good man. Uh, brilliant. Well, whoever stitched them up, I have to get your facts right before we get cracking. <laughs> so, um, mate, Appia, first thing I want to talk about is winning the league last year. Obviously, brilliant. Coming into this season, probably favourites to win it again. Do you reckon? I reckon probably, well, yeah, I mean, because we've done quite well over the last couple of years um so you know rightly so uh, you know being looked at as um as, as a favorite is always nice but you know obviously in that that first round against black town uh, i'd definitely say that they're the what happened to that game oh, i don't know shambles i think we just we just got it wrong i mean if you look at our team we've probably lost about four or five players that were starters last season so you've got yani nicola who went to um bulls, bulls yeah. um we've got Monji, who went to um, Melbourne Victory, yep. so they were they were two starters. Obviously, Ivan retired as well. Um, Paul Galimi, he was in and around, you know, starting every now and then as well. And he's he said he's retired, but I don't think he's going to retire. If you're watching it, Paul, then <laughs> I, I, I know what you're doing, mate. He just wanted to miss preseason. On that note, I've heard your tactics in preseason. Oh yeah, you missed. You, you've had them three holidays in preseason. <laughs> that's a shit. Yeah, that's a pass as well. And you started the first game of the season. Uh, yeah, well there you go. I'm and you won the yo-yo test. <laughs> <laughs> How did you pull that? Uh, well, I mean, I just had work, and I couldn't really get off work straight after the season. But I knew I needed it. Holiday. A three. Holiday. <laughs> yeah, back to back to back. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Luckily, the the club was was all right with it as long as I got in, you know, with enough time to get get right for the season. Um, Where did you go on holiday? I went to Black Town. Did you not Phuket. Go? Sorry. Where did you not go on holiday? <laughs> yeah, no, right. Um, now I went to Phuket with my with my best mate and his brother, um, who actually is a goalkeeper as well. Oh, uh, okay. Nicky Lowe plays for oh, yeah. Hakka. He's a yeah. good goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, he's good. good. Um, and then I went to Bali with uh, Corey Bixo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he's another one that we've lost as well. So right. he's been in and around the, the team for a long time. What so. was your third holiday? <laughs> third one? Um, nah, I just went, just, went, just went back home. <laughs> just chilled out. <laughs> Three holidays, not bad for pre season, mate. Uh, sorry, I pre season, what were you saying? Pre season? <clears throat> you said, lost a trail, I thought, yeah. Sorry? I lost five players. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. So, so Corey was probably the last one as well. So Ivan, Corey, Paul, um, and then. Uh, Yanni and, and Monji so all those players were in and around like you know core starting players and we've lost them now yeah so yeah going into round one it, it's it's going to be a, you know look a, a bit different um we ha we've got like a lot of younger boys that are coming in now from you know early academies and whatnot quality players but you know sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to obviously gel integrate with the squad get used to the way we play get used to each other and um you know, just sort of like the the men's intensity and urgency every week, because sometimes when you're part of those A League academies, it's not so much you know emphasis on getting the three points every week. Oh, yeah, okay. It's more about you know the way that you play and yeah. and you know the, you know doing the tactical things right, this that and the other. So yeah, I mean, I've got full confidence in all the boys that we brought in, especially the younger ones. Um, so yeah, I mean, that was a bit of a hurdle that we that we stumbled on the first one, but. You know, since then we've we've had a good run of form. So have you uh, St George beat you? That was that, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was just after the One first now. week as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, midweek as well, the first mid midweek game, which is always tough going to say. Uh, St George pitch is small as well. Yeah, it's very small. It's like a like a tennis um, <laughs> <laughs> tennis court to be to be fair. But they're always like intense. They're, yeah. they're always in your face, similar to like Marco and very physical, um, high intensity game where they're pressing you and, and whatnot. So. 
yeah, we were unlucky in that game. I think we had a fair few chances in the first half that we should have put away. Um, a couple in the second half as well, but fair play to them. They had one, you know, one chance, Dom Cox. Oh, yeah, on, sure. the edge, on the edge of the box, just had a cut back and just pinged it, hit the crossbar, bounced down, and there was nothing really to set up. Tight button at the tight, the league just now is yeah, like, it's what is it, like four points between top and eighth or something? Ah, it's tight anyway, aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you said obviously you lost um, Ivan. Yep, Huge Ivan loss. Yeah, yeah, I played with him for a long time. Um, knew him even back in, in Sydney FC days as well, so that's when he first came, maybe about eight seasons ago. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, core player, a lot of experience. Yeah. Um, he's been he's been saying one more season for like the last five seasons as well. So he's finally decided to uh, to take a step. What's doing now? Just chilling. I think so. Yeah. Um, he just cut, cutting his lawn. I mean, if you look at his, his <laughs> socials, he's just look, he's just cutting his lawn all the time. <laughs> just lawn mowing. Um, and uh, you know, driving his cars. He's got about three three cars. He loves his cars as well. Um, but yeah, so he's a big loss. Um, but obviously full confidence in, in Buzza. Um, played with Buzza in the past as well. So, you know, he's a, he's a top keeper and, you know, he'll be relishing this opportunity to, to yeah. step in for us and, and be a real big player for us this season as well. So. Where was he before that? Last season, he was... I know he was at Hakawa and then he went to Olympic. Do you know? Um, huh? What was goalkeepers union? Nah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's only like 12 years. It's lost on me where, where, he, where, he's actually, where he's playing last season, actually. Um, but last, yeah, last time, last memory I had was that he was at Olympic, but yeah, probably just. Off he was at Yeah. yeah. He's, always, he's, always, he's always been in and around the, um, the league, MPL1, so yeah. he's a top keeper. I mean, last game he got man of the match, basically, so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, fair to say he's back and he's in good form. So. Who do you think's a uh, big, let's just put you in as a top four contender, so who else thinks in there with you? It's only goals, um, but just on Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably say Rockdale. Like, they, they've done quite well in the last couple of seasons, as well as us, like pushing us as well. Um, and, you know, your assessor is always going to score goals. How do you um, think Mark and him? I mean, to be fair, I've never really had any trouble against him. Oh, he's wee man, your assessor. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely wee man them. No, well, no, well, I mean. You uh, said his bread shite as well, didn't you? Sorry? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually, I actually love his uh, his croissants and his. Um, <laughs> Don't try suck up, mate. Yeah, no, no. no, no, he's a he's a top guy. I mean, I went to school with him, so. Oh, did you? Yeah, so I mean, fair to say, like I, I know how he plays. I've played against him for a long time, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, funnily enough, he just never really scored against. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but he, he he's he's already. Ah, he's top man. Right? He's good. Yeah, play. he's already good scored play. a couple of goals this season. I think he's got so. I think he's got his fifth uh, yeah. fifth goal the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Um, so yeah, he's always going to do well for them and, and push them through. Um, so Rockdale, Blacktown, I'd say, you know, us in there in the mix hopefully as well. Um, Marconi's always pushing as well. They're always spending the money um, and they, they've done well at the start of the season. So it's they've skipped through a wee bit, but do you not think so? Their game? Yeah, I mean, it's just the way that they play, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't want to go as far as to say it's like, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really have an identity or anything like that because they do play pretty direct football and, and it helps them through because it suits the players that they have. Yeah, of course, yeah, that's, that's all about physical, yeah, yeah. physical brand of football, do you know what I mean? So they, they know what works for them and um, and yeah, they're starting to get some, some good results and go through. But yeah, I, I don't know, just in, in some games when you don't really have, I suppose, like a variation of the way that you're playing, like if you're just going direct all the time and, you know, teams know that, then it can get a little bit repetitive and, you know, they yeah. might struggle. You're running out of ideas a wee bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I just think looking at the results, I mean, they're getting the points, most important thing, and they might hit a form, but have they, have they battled them, do you? I think it's all the games of 2 1, 1 0, 2 1. Against, the game against you, I thought they were decent in the first half. Yes, yeah. Uh, but then I think we mentioned in last week's podcast, as soon as you've got that equaliser, mm. it just looked like an onslaught yeah. after that point. Um, but then flip it from the weekend with Marconi and Sutherland, which we'll go into, but as soon as um, they got that first goal and equalised, it was an onslaught, like yeah, Southern couldn't get the rating yard box. Yeah. But before that, I think Marconi had one shot at the first half. Yeah, yeah they always make it difficult um, over at Marconi. Like, it, any game that I've ever played against them, it, it's always been tight. Like, we've never blown them out of the water. Yeah. Um, and if we had, like, it didn't really feel like it because they, they never really give up. They're always, like, running after you, like, pressing high. Um, it's never an easy game. No, no, you don't expect it. They've got good players, I mean, they've got a good, yeah. good squad. Um, and Chaz, anything to ask what happened before we crack on the games? No, you said 
What do you think of Will and Golden Wolves' start to the season? Um, have you played them yet? No, we haven't played them yet. We've, but we've obviously had decent results so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm keep, I've been keeping an eye on them. Um, like I hang out with Jake True, yep. one of their strikers, um, outside of football as well, and he's been telling me about about them. Um, Walter Scott also. Like, he's know, going, yeah, actually. yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I actually need to check my phones. We've got quite a few through. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's moved on to Bulls now, but he was over at um, Wollongong, and before that, he was with us. Up, right. Know, okay. So yeah. I know him well. Um, but yeah, look, I think they're, they're doing really well. Um, start of the season, quite good. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, they were, I think they, they got the Premiership, uh, maybe three seasons. Ah, uh, yeah, was that? Yeah. yeah, so they did well then, and then they have had a bit of a transition period. Um, but now they're back in the mix, which is good. You know, it, it, all over the league, there, there's, there's good teams, to be fair. In the first, you know, five, six, you know, seven now, games like you can see that there's a lot of quality in the league and you know it's quite tight so a lot yeah, of teams are doing well to start the season ah, it's unpredictable and it is unpredictable yeah. very very hard um and else chico no nah, that's just obviously going on to this it's um are you happy with where you are at this point in the season uh nah i mean for us like i suppose the up your up your culture and um and, and how we see ourselves, we always want to be at the top, but we also know that it's not a, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a longer season again, 30 rounds. Um, obviously, pretty shit results start. Um, but, you know, like I said, we've, we've clicked into gear since then. And I, I don't even think that we're playing our best football at the moment yeah. as well. So I think that we've got like a couple of levels to step up as well. And I think when we're all, you know, firing away, then hopefully we're right up there. But yeah, in terms of the, the question, mm. I mean, content, but... but well, away from home, I'm, you haven't been... Oh, you obviously beat Marconi in the yeah. last minute, but lost to St George, lost to Blacktown. Yeah, exactly. But at home, he's looking a bit more comfortable, yeah? Yeah, well, I mean, over at Leichhardt, over, we're pretty used to that uh, that ground as well because um, we played a fair few, like, FFA uh, Cup games in the in the past there and, and done really well, so we've got good memories there and, and that's turned into a bit, bit of a fortress. I mean, I think most of the games that we've played at, at Leichhardt over this season, um, we've been up by, like, three or four... No, sorry, not three or four, uh, two or three um, by half time. Yeah, yeah. So, no, we are sort of turn that into a fortress, so hopefully we can keep doing well there. But the focus is obviously to pick up points every week, and that means, you know, home and away. So, yeah, a bit more of a focus to, um, to get that consistency away from home as well. Have you started, personally? Um, I mean, you I've got, got, got a that, that first <laughs> game, because you can't really say that any of the defenders played well in that game. But um, I think other than that, yeah, Old. Pretty, pretty okay, yeah. So, uh-huh. yeah. Good. Um, moving on quickly, we'll go over the um, last weekend's games. Oh, yeah. Um, There's all results, by the way, because I can't even remember them. Yeah. So, starting off with the Sydney Derby, Sydney yeah. FC lost 5 2 to Wanderers. I, mate, I did see what well, I tell you, Wanderers, they look good, but if you looked at their fixtures so far, I'll talk about it yesterday. They've played, I think they've played, I might get this wrong, but I think it's Hills, Sutherland, Sydney FC. Central Coast Mariners, yeah. us, then they played Rockdale, Rockdale beat them. Rockdale beat them so I don't think they've been tested yet, but they've got Andrew Christensen, a good gaffer, and they've got young, good lads, and they've had a few early boys drop down as well. Mm. So I think they will be good. Yeah. But it looked like a d- decent game. Did you see the highlights? Ah, Any I, of it? Highlights of the oh, I did, yeah. yeah it looked like yeah. a decent game, didn't it? End to end. Yeah, the, I was laughing at the, obviously the, the Wanderers equaliser. Mm. They keep on stuck one? in the net. No, I didn't see that. The ball's <laughs> come in, and it's, he's made a save. Oh, no, the ball's come off the crossbar from a free kick, I think. And he's dived into the net, and the, the ball yeah. literally rolls in the middle of the yeah, goal. Yeah. But the keeper's like fighting to try and get out the goal, and that was obviously the equaliser just before half time. So obviously, if he can get himself out the net, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, last yeah, game, game man. <laughs> <laughs> a different game. Uh, no, I think um, it looked like a decent game on on paper. There was a couple of good goals as well. Yunus, Anthony Yunus, uh, Marcus Yunus, Anthony yeah. plays for us. Uh, he, he's got a couple. Um, um, I wrote down the first goal was a, a belter free kick. Mm. Oh, so, so was I. Aye. They had a couple of free kicks in the first half. I don't know if you've seen it in highlights. That looked aye. very <laughs> decent. Aye. Very, very decent. Very, yeah, they're but, super tidy in those like those final third positions. Like, aye, just yeah. quick feet. Just they try and bait you in. Like, Scared to touch them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Just force them wide and try and delay them. But they do well to, to win a lot of free. They scored a lot of goals, by the way. Yeah, yeah no. scored five, five last night. Five last night. Did you see the goal last night? Where, that was, I, don't know, I can't even think. The, the little chip of the keeper. Yeah, yeah, like you just shake it. I loved it. Like yeah. I loved it because he stopped, looked and thought, can I get away with this? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get away with that. That was lovely, man. Uh, they scored, was that 10, 14 goals in two games? Decent. Yeah, it's not so bad. bad. Yeah, not bad. It, honestly. 
Um, <laughs> apart from that, I think mean, this results in the FC. I don't know how they'll go this year. I think it'll be mid table, to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm. They're good and bad. Obviously, West City Wanderers, the strongest of the three academy teams so far. Yeah. Aye, it looks that way, mate. I think, I think it's super important for those like, academies to, to pick up points early in the season if they, you know, if they're you know, fussed about where they're nah, yeah, on, on the ladder. Because as the season goes on, obviously, you know, the teams with the more experienced players, they're going to get, you know, into full game fitness and then it's just going to get harder and harder. Um, so if they can start the season well and pick up points while, you know, people are sort of still trying to get their, their form and their fitness yeah. um, in terms of the other the other teams, then that'll that'll help them and put them in good stead, I think. Mm-hmm. That's I the way I see it. So see when the A-League season finishes, mm. do, I assume obviously the A-League team get a holiday, they get time off. Mm. Three holidays to go out of time. So the ones that drop down and play in the 20s from mm. time to time, will they have time off or will they still be around? Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously they drop something. They probably give them a... They probably give them a choice, to be honest with you, and it's a bit of a. So not, it's not a rule. It's not really a choice, yeah. though, is it? It's yeah, that's what I mean. It's like a bit of a psychological like test, like, oh, how committed are you? Yeah, like, if you're on the cusp between, you know, the like being a younger boy that is on a first team contract, if they yeah. ask you, like, oh, you know, <laughs> talk about rubble ring. Yeah. yeah, are you training tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to go to Bali with the boys, but <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's, that's what happened in um in our off season with with Yanni. He was actually. Uh, planning to go overseas and then he got yeah, a call the next day to, to go oh. on this trip with um, MacArthur Bulls and he was, he was sort of like spewing because like he be, he's been waiting for so long to go on yeah, holidays. Yeah, he's going to go with Tony. Yeah. Because so I, to, I was talking to Tony, um, Tony Yang and he said he was buzzing because they were going away yeah. and then I messaged him like say a couple of weeks later and he yeah. was like I didn't go because oh, Yang oh, got boy, man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it's a bit of a stitch up sometimes like that's football though, you, you know, you plan ahead. Um, but things changed so quickly and, you know, fair play to him, he did well. We went away with him, I think it was for the Asian Cup qualifiers or, or, or you know, Asian Cup full stop. Um, did well, and got a contract, so yeah, fair yeah, play. Yeah. There's a lot of rule on what we'll talk about a second ago, like they have to have a certain amount of time off, early teams, early mm. players. Yeah, right. I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure someone told me that last year because we played, I don't know, one of the early clubs and then obviously depending on when you get them, you could get them one week. And it's 17 year old boys mm. and then when they, the time they sort of transition to an A-League time off yeah. some of them get taken away in camp yeah. and then all, alternatively there's a lot of A-League boys coming down yeah. so you fence a strong team and a weak team I'm pretty sure someone said to me well they, I'm pretty sure someone said it's four weeks again yeah I th- yeah, that, that sounds familiar from the past as uh, well four like weeks at, off or at something. least four weeks yeah. uh, I think there's some sort of, yeah. I don't know how it works in the, the ins and outs of it but I think there's a rule there which would make sense if any kind of force to go to play yeah, it'd be rough that. Um, Marconi game, which we touched on. Yeah. Um, thoughts, lads? Who, who, who you want to answer that one? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone who's watched that? I, I, I went. The I thought it was poor defending for both the first two goals. I think they say. What the, was the first? The Sutherland goal again. The Sutherland goal. Oh, like, no, 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 no. The second goal was a shock. The Marconi first goal, poor defending guys on Mart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye. That's that's Point what I'm saying. Yeah. And then the second one, the keeper, I think. Maya, Maya's strike. No, no, no. The first two goals in the game. What was the first? It was like a, a cross or a corner, wasn't ah, it? Ah, yeah, the cross has come in, and it's, the keeper's not really dealt with the cross. Mm. He's come. I think he's come to get it, and he's not got it. Right. Okay. And then he's obviously scored from it. But then, as you say, Frank Meyer scored an absolute. They scored a couple yeah, for the a ah, great goal, man. But I think it's a good three points, mate. Because have you played it so long yet? You haven't, have you? No. Nah. Tough, tough place to play. Just the pitches. Mm. You can't really play, so it does become very scrappy. A lot of long balls. Yeah. And they're always young and, and uh, always, like, trying then, you know, run you down. I don't know if what you said though, surely that would sit Marconi a bit in terms of that. No, I think so, but I think you'd like to think Marconi, and no disrespect to Salon, but they don't have more quality on the ball if the ball is in the deck. I, I don't think the players like Costanza, for instance, has got a bit of quality. In fact, was he banned? I must have been. Oh, was that, was that two games well, ago? He, he, was, he was sat out our game, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, we would have sat out that then. Surely, oh, maybe two games, it was a, yeah, it's actually, it was a high it was tackle. A straight, yeah. yeah, yeah. But players like that, but who would like the ball on the deck, yeah, do you know what I mean? But anyway, good three points for Marconi. They're still in the mix, they've been getting the points when very easily to drop them. Mm. Rockdale lost at home, that looked like a cracking game. It did look like a good game. Mm. Did you see the highlights of that one? Yep. 
Yeah. <laughs> the, the first goal is an absolute screamer as well. Oh, by the way. I don't no. think that's touched anything. No, no, I agree. I think that was my question. Man. So there's no deflection in that at all? I don't think yeah, so. no. no okay. and, and, like, and the way that Marley... Just the way it looked, I thought, does yeah. that clip somebody? It's Let's say just went boom, boom. No, yeah, the, 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 the way that Marley strikes the ball as well, because I've I played with him in the past, and he always like he always points his toe and makes sure that he tries to dip it every time. Uh, like, some so, dip on it. Yeah, I generally yeah. was like, I kept stopping for that, because the centre half sort of like leaned back. I thought, is it maybe he's clipped his shoulder like ever so slightly? But obviously, didn't he? If he's got that in his locker. Great yeah. strike. Oh, it's a great goal. It's an absolute yeah, cracker. But I was saying that to Chaz now in here. I thought Chalakin's goal was a belter. Yeah. He's facing the opposite way. He just turns and swivels uh, across the keeper that. in the far corner. Yeah, Not he's, easy he's, he's coming back into form. I think, um, you know, last season when he first came to Rockstar, if it was last season when he first came or the season four, uh, it was a little, a little bit quiet, but yeah, it looks like he started the season really well. Because when he was back at Manly, like, I found him, you know, super difficult to mark and, you know, he was like their, their star man, their man, you know what I mean? But yeah. it looks like he's coming back into that form, which is good to see. We've got a, a lot of good players, Rockdale. I, I agree, I think they'll be a nail at the end of the season, but man, conceding three at home is not ideal if they're trying to win a league. I think uh, last year, that was a big yeah, problem for them. Yeah, that's man. Like, if you look at their strike force, like, they, you can't keep them out. Like, if you keep them out, you've then both centre-backs or the whole back line has to be in the team of the league. Because uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the players that they've got up front, I, I think Black Town's like, you know, probably the, the cream of the crop in terms of attackers. So, you know, apart from, I'll say us as well, you know, we've got a lot of experience in there. But if you look at their whole front line, it's ridiculous. Sure. Yeah, sure. We've got, we've got Jack O'Brien, Travis Major. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, well, obviously Marley. Yeah, no, Marley, much Marley. Yeah. Danny, Danny Choi has come back as well. Is he, is he back playing now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's back playing. Okay, yeah. cool. That's good. Good on him. That's a big injury he had, wasn't it? Long time. Um, um, but I also thought that the, the black time keeper was brilliant. And I, I, and I also think the, the Rockdale goalkeeper in the last five minutes did he know if he was going for a shite or a haircut? He was <laughs> came out for the cross, the, nearly for the 18 yard line. Oh man, no. What was he doing, I man? I don't know. And then in the last minute, they hit the bar for halfway. The halfway minute. Was it Fernandez? Right. That's actually a good strike, that. No, it's a great strike, yeah. In terms of, from a goalkeeper's point of view, because you are obviously anticipating balls coming through, so mm. you need to be relatively high in terms mm. of. I suppose of squeeze up to the back line. Space, right? Mm. So then the only thing is, you're looking at somebody's body language, so if you see him drop the head, mm. you need to start dropping straight away just in case that mm -hmm. comes. Because he's hit it well, it was flat, it wasn't like a, a loopy over the top of the keeper, it was yeah. literally like bang. Oh, I was great. He zinged it. He zinged it. Aye. And the cross, the cross is the cross is difficult because. Oh come on! He's got. No, I, I mean it's difficult in terms of. I don't think he should have went. Ah, yes, I should say he should have went for it. He's I, not. He's, 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 there's like eight defenders. I know. There's mm -hmm. too too many bodies. But um, uh, goalkeeping is you get half a second to make that decision. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You see it, and the picture changes very quickly. Sometimes. Do you know what? I was, I was actually watching a, a video on Instagram, and it was Henri, and he was saying like, over his career, learn that when he's running through like 1v1 or he's about to take a shot like if he if he looks up for like a split second looks down again and then looks down again like is that like a cue for the goalkeeper to, to not move anymore because he's sort of had a look where he wants to put it and then you've got to sort of stop still yeah, yeah. so for me it's it's more not so much the head when the head goes down yeah and you look for the planted foot when the foot's planted you just stop wherever yeah. you are there's no point in continuing because yeah. if it goes anywhere when you're not set it's really, really hard to yeah. move your body if you've got one foot in front of the other. Yeah, but, but if they look up, then if you are moving, you, you yeah, just freeze, you, you stop. You stop. Yeah, stop. right. So, so yeah. It's, it's literally that, That's the look, it's, but it's when it goes down for the strike, dead still. Well, yeah, obviously right. it's hard to be dead still, but that's kind of mm. the, the way you're trying to do it. What would you do if run one one-on-one -on -one just stared at you the whole time? Just ran towards you. <laughs> I just ran towards him. <laughs> Statue of money. It's like, oh <laughs> shit. No. <laughs> 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 uh, big one for Blackton, as you said. Um, Rockdale actually almost nicked it at the end. Yeah. I don't know, nicked it, but got a point at the end. Big save. I don't know if the keeper saved it or it was a deflection. It was a last kick of the ball. So. Deflection, I think. Aye. Um, it was, Wolves spoke, Wolves absolutely battered Hills, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, the highlights were just all Wolves. Yeah, like we said, like they, they've started the season really well. Um, you know, they seem to be playing some good football. Uh, they've got some some good boys that have come in. Um, I think, yeah, Carney's still their coach, right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carney's doing well with them, to be fair. Um, and Lockie Scott, he looks like he's in good form again. So he's always been pretty difficult to mark, I'd say, as well. Another player that... Oh, we talk about him a lot. Uh, he's a good player. Yeah, yeah. How do you find marking him? To be fair, like oh, was, too easy as well. No, 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 no. To be to be fair to to be fair to him, like he's always he's always given me like something to think about during games. Like you know, I seem to sort of 
during games, I, I think like, oh, you know, I, I've kept in quiet and then he might pop up in like the, the 80th minute and just uh, score yeah, a yeah. world. It's a handful. Yeah, 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 so he's just one of those players that is, is, is slippery. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I always think of it as a striker, if you can get a defender thinking like, look at the team sheet, you need to keep an eye on him today. Yeah. You're doing, you're doing half your job already because you're making yourself a nuisance. Yeah. You're not just letting you go through your game casually. Yeah. I think that's always a, a good sign that you're, oh, that you're, you're doing half a good yeah. job. No, I've never really felt like I've, I've pocketed him for the whole game. Do you know what I mean? No. Like, not like Europe? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, all, all respect to Europe. <laughs> it's, just, it's just an half year of Rockdale thing. I think we've just had it over them the last like, yeah. you know, four or five seasons for whatever reason. And then, yeah. But yeah, yeah Lockie, Lockie's solid. Would you oh, be saying that in terms of the, they, they've obviously beat Blacktown 1-0, mm -hmm. so that's a back four and a goalkeeper in the team of the week, keeping Blacktown front three quiet? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, by, by, <laughs> that, by, by that record, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have Fuka scored a hat-trick. Right. A Fuka. Uh, okay, uh, he's, right. he's a good little player. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good player. But that's, I think, their strong things they've got. Obviously, Chris McStay's decent centre of the field, but then you've got, I mean, Jake's very athletic, which helps him massively, mm -hmm. a big runner. So you've got Lockie Stock, Scott pulling people all over the place, and like you said, he's if you're playing against Apia centre half, you only think they've got ten at the back. You need to be careful who I, who I mark, who I'm putting my defender on here. He's taking, he's getting you thinking about somebody else. You've got Jake through running channels. Yeah, yeah, you've got Fuka coming through the middle. Yeah, because he's so he's so good at like um, he's so good at like pinning mm -hmm. pinning the defender and, oh, and back that, to man. goal, Lockie, uh, and then he just brings other people into it. Like he's so good at he's, like his first touch is always it always just sticks to him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah. even if he's pinned you on like the left or the right, but like just back to goal, he's either just going to dump it off to someone and then you know make another run, or like you know take a touch and then just ping it wide and then start running into the box. So yeah. you know really gives you much of an opportunity to yep. to tackle him unless he's obviously facing you. You know what I mean? Now they'll, they'll be, I think they'll be like. Early doors, still don't think they'll have enough to win it over the long haul, but I think they'll be top six. I think they'll be a, they're a hard, hard place to go Wollongong as well. Mm, yeah, always, uh, especially when they, they put those Friday night games. It's all we could get, lads, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, but the um, but Win, Win Stadium is like obviously a, a top ground uh, to play at, and people look forward to playing there. And, but you know they do more than anyone, I, I think, yeah. especially when they play play at Albert Butler half the other time. They're right. like, oh. You know, we actually need to need to um, you know put in a good performance when we come to to win stadium. So they love playing there, um, and yeah, on those Friday night games, yeah, the the less spoken <laughs> spoke about. <laughs> well, Matt, good to have the whole weekend off, but uh, it's one of those ones. Yeah. Uh, it's good. I get to reflect on a good defeat. <laughs> um, what have we got Sydney United. I didn't see that in the highlights. Was it there? It was there. Oh, my and telly's broke down. And tell me, scored. Um, oh, he's back. Uh, and tell me, played. Tell me, he's back. First, first game back. Hatch, Hatch scored as well, coming off the left, great finish. And I put in here. Um, that's a great finish, that. Yeah, it was a great did, finish. On, my, on the YouTube highlights for me, it said 32 minutes long. That's all it was there. It was just ha it was a bit of the first half. Mm. I, I think that the, the YouTube thing, like, you need to actually search, like, just keep looking for things, if that makes sense. So the first <laughs> game, <laughs> that's how it looks. <laughs> no, but like, so I've typed in the first game, and then it will show you, like, Three games in the the window, the kind of ah, okay. wee pictures. But then if you keep scrolling down, it'll pop up. It'll come up somewhere. Well, I didn't see that. Was that how that game sense? How did sense look against St George? Uh, since Sydney? Um, not great. I think the the rock the the rock deal the Sydney United keeper. I don't think looked particularly comfortable again. Ah, okay, he's had a tough start, hasn't he? Ah, he has had a, a tough start. I think it was it was three 0 I was going to see that. How did the scoring go? It's three 0 Sure, Sydney United. And then St George scored twice. Did they have any chances to equalise? Nah, not really. No. Well, but, but the goals they like scored sources. weren't like great goals to score. No. It was more goal defending slash goalkeeper. Right. Okay. No, they, but, but to be fair, to Sydney United, they picked up some results now. They're sort of in a respectful position. Uh, more like sixth or seventh or something. They're, they've got ten points. Right, they're in about. What are you using? Well, four yeah, we're, we're one off one off top spot. I know it's pretty yeah, tight. It's at the top, yeah, there's two on thirteen, and then there's maybe two. So three, three points off the top ten. Oh, fair play, aye. They're back in the mix anyway. Uh, Spirit, we lost to St George. Romero scored first of the season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Red card was quite a bad tackle. You see that? Horrible oh, tackle. Mate, it was getting argued over for a good. I don't know how the referee thought. He literally oh, went mate. straight to his pocket with a yellow. That was a bad it. tackle, oh. man. It was a bad. Did you see it? Uh, I didn't. I, I saw the penalty, but I didn't catch the tackle. Uh, tackle right at the very oh. end of the game. To be fair, it was like th it didn't have any influence in the game. It was like three minutes to go, but pff, bad tackle, man. Yeah, it. it. That was I uh, one of those ones, but it was one of those ref. Like, come on, man. Like, just walk. One of those ones you do it and go shit. 
It's yeah. not a <laughs> but to be fair, the referee had to go on like a, a jog to get him. Like he had obviously realised eventually and he ran away. Aye, 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 aye. But it was a terrible tackle. Was I? But the, the game itself. Um, like there wasn't much in the game. There no, no, wasn't much in the game. Like I, I, I don't think. I think Spirit should have at least got a point from the game. Mm. I don't think Angus George would be kidding herself on if they denied that. But football, they took, they took a chance when it came. Um, I thought you had quite a lot of chances. We did have a lot of chances. Exactly. We, we didn't finish him. That's football. Uh, Romero got a pen. It was a definite pen. It was fairly quiet. To be fair, it was fairly quiet. He's another one I think you'd have in your back pocket. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I've never really played against him, to be honest with you. You played with him, obviously. Well, yeah, I played, played with him. Obviously played against him um, just earlier this season, but I don't, I don't think he's, he's there yet in terms of fitness. But when he when he definitely gets full, fully fit, fully flying, like, you know, he's got that X factor. He's one no, of those I, types of players. 100%, yeah. He can, yeah. You know, he can just pop up and score four goals in one game, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, don't doubt that, you know, in the next couple of, couple of games, he'll start scoring, and especially with that goal now, I think he'll just... Probably go on a run. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Aye, well, they were. Um, they, I think they'll do all right. St George was mentioned before, but I didn't, it was not not a lot in the game. But I think, as I said, I'm only back spirit, obviously. But I think we've been hard done by in a lot of games. Two one, one nil, one each, Aye. one nil, nil nil. We're all tight in every single game we played. So we'll see how we go. Uh, Central Coast and Manly. Two two. Um, two two. Ah, that's right. Did you see the the captain? I wrote his name. Donati Neon Kuru. It's. At two one in Central Coast, right? He's picked up the ball in the middle of the park. Did that be ghosty? I went through. I think he's went to shoot. Defenders went flying across, mm. and he took a touch into the space. And not be like, as a goalkeeper, right? I just want people to hit off the guy's ball. Hit off his chest, chest. in it. I just want as a striker comes through, just hit it as hard as you can. Because mm. as soon as they get this composure to try and side to a corner, it's a goal every mm. single time. And he's done all the hard work, man. The keeper's like here to the corner away. And he's just smashed it and hit the keeper on the chest. I was yeah. like, what a good uh, uh, he's, he's a good player, him. He's he? I think he won a pen last week for them as well. Mm. Did, have you played against him? Not yet, no. No, no. Uh, you, good, again, man. that's another hard place to go in at Plum Park. Mm. Well, I mean, last season we played in the in the stadium, in Central Coast Stadium. Oh, nice. so that was, oh did you? Uh, yeah, that was decent. Some backdrop there, isn't it? Yeah, like... yeah, beautiful stadium. Um, great grass as well. <laughs> 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 um, which is, you know, something few and far between that we get in this league, but I think they've done a lot better this season with getting, you know, grounds up to, up to oh, stadium, yeah. especially at Mark Rennie. But yeah, um, with, with Central Coast, you know, they're always going to have some good technical players and they're pushing a lot of players into the into the first team now I think over the last like season you've seen so many names come through the, the youth team and then into the first team which is obviously great to see I think a lot of players in the like younger players in the in the A-League youth would probably think oh yeah if I get an opportunity to go to Central Coast that's probably the place I'm going to be able to push yeah, through yeah, you know what I mean? so yeah. yeah they're always going to have good um, a good youth set up over there Wait, with uh, that game, right? So much in the highlights. It's two penalties on it. Central Coast goals. So Smythe scores the first one pen. Keep commentators like that. Ice yeah, in his I veins. Was, I was laughing. Did you <laughs> Second one gets second pen. Hits our pen. The keeper pretty much saves it. It's a shy pen. Know, it was a bad and he, it's a shy pen. It sneaks in. Don't know how it sneaks in. Keeper should save it. And the commentator goes, "Ice in his veins." I'm like, <laughs> "Ice in his veins." <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Hey, that's, that's, a, that, that's another thing with, with the NPL, honestly, the commentating sometimes. <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is any of them a slaughter you, the commentators? Huh? Is any of the commentators of a slaughter you? Oh, I put my name every week. Oh, but, did he? <laughs> but other than that, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't really watch games like back all the time, to be honest with you. I, I used to when I was younger, but I don't know. Just get on with my weekend. Now. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, a lot of players do that. But do you, do you even see any eclipse? Does it, do you have veil or anything to look at your uh, eclipse? I'm, I'm normally just... Passing to Joshy, and then he goes on Amazie. Or something. <laughs> I, just, I just keep it simple. I don't really, yeah. There's not really too many highlights for me unless I, you know, score a goal, which is how many goals you scored? Eight. <laughs> oh, have actually, it? I think well, for our yeah, that's that's not good enough over the last couple of years. Well, that's how you're on. Nine what, years. Wikipedia eight years? Yeah, gives me eight. eight. A goal a year? Yeah, Wikipedia gave me... And two is COVID? Yeah, right. Nah, I need to do better. I need to do better. <laughs> but the deliveries need to be better as well. Are you, are you in the, the box for corners? I take yeah. it. That's pretty poor, actually. Right? Yeah, it's not, not good, is it? Right. But I mean, Chaz isn't renowned for having shite facts. That's something me. All right, well, I made that my goal this season to get more goals. Uh, you've not scored yet, have you? Not this season, no. That's yeah. a, but it's only made it his goal today. So it's oh, yeah, 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 It's a fresh one. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, speaking of your goals, Jack Stewart's goal. Oh, unbelievable. What are we going for? Goal of the weekend, Jack Stewart or Mitch Malia? Mitch Malia. Uh, 
Ah, it makes Mali out too. Why? Well, okay. We'll get. What do you think? To be like, sorry, Stewie, but <laughs> <laughs> no, Mar- Mali is bizarre. That's like, you know, if you're scoring that that goal at like the Emirates Stadium, you know what I mean? Like, right. It's just going to be talked about. Like, right. you know what I mean? So like. Yeah, the, the technique that you need to have that first receive on the half turn and then just like put your head down and just. That was it. And for me, it was the speed at which yeah. he received the ball and then he's got the shot yeah. off. Like, if you watch the defender, he's maybe had the time to take two steps. Yeah, exactly. He can't get close enough to shut him. He's literally just went touch, bang, mm. and what a finish, man. Yeah. Aye, okay. We'll go with, we'll go with Mali as in. That's unfortunate. It's a great goal. I'm sure he, you know, he doesn't do that at training all the time, like in terms of, you know. I mean, it was about 35 yards out of that. Yeah, yeah. that's far. Yeah. That's far. Whereas, yeah, exactly. I think it was 35, I think so. Uh, over 30, yeah, I'd say. Yeah. 30, 30, 35, yeah. Okay, it felt dirty, actually, yeah. Yeah. Where, Whereas Stewie, uh, I see him trying that every, every yeah, training session. Yeah, he had quite a lot of shots in that game, sure, didn't he? Yeah, he, he loves a, a cut in and have a shot. Aye. Right. Oh, I see you won, I feel like. He takes it well, he does. Does he? Yeah, yeah. no, he's got a good, good strike in him, so if they played him, it's good to see him get on the score sheet again. And uh, you scored about 27 seconds? Yeah, that was ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I, I was I was still sort of going through the game plan in my head and we'd already scored. Just run into, <laughs> run into the corner post. But Segreto, he's just been class for us this season. He's another one from um, you know, Central Coast yeah. Youth Academy. Um yeah, he's just hit the ground running with us. He's a top lad as well, great for our culture. Um but yeah, he's been killing it and yeah, not even like thirty seconds in. Wow. He'd already uh, scored. Not a great start because they swapped I think they swapped out the back line. I think it started with Ziggy Gordon and Timoteo. Right, okay. And then 27 seconds in. It's a fucking Right, off! <laughs> How did you find the Olympic? Because they've had a tricky start, haven't they? Yeah, well, look, uh, I've, I've played against you know some of their players uh, a fair few times before. They've got a lot of experience in that team. Uh, just something doesn't seem to be sticking at the moment. It just seems a little bit disjointed, like just the way that they play. I'm not sure if they're all in the on the same sort of page um, at times. Like obviously the, the quality is there on paper. It's yeah. just about, you know, doing it every week and, and translating that into results, which, you know, unfortunately they haven't been able to do thus far. Um, but, you know, a lot of great plays in the squad. I, I'm just not, not sure what's wrong there at the moment. That's a funny one. We'll see how that pans out. But again, like I said, United, they were on a weird run. Went yeah. three or four games and you can easily sneak back into that. The top half of the league, man. I think that's around a bit of confidence. And they play Manly this weekend, I think. Yeah, that's, so. that's tricky, man. Where yeah, uh, about this? That's even trickier. I was going to say that. I've got to somewhere. Right, Chaz, run us through MPL2. Manly are at home. Are they, aye? Aye, yeah, tricky. Yeah, it tricky game, mate. It's a hard game, mate. Um, MPL2, UNSW, massive result, beating round them in 4 1. Who, UNSW? Aye. Is that class as a massive result? Nah, you fancy yourself to beat them, though? No, nah, I did fancy us to beat them, but I was just saying, right, we have scored 10 goals in the last two games. Who did they play in the last two? Who did yeah, they play? Um, I can't remember. Do you know much about MPL2? A little bit. Time? Like, well, my, my best mate, Nicky, plays for Harkow. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, okay. You know, I know a little bit about it. Um, Obviously, you know, UNSW yeah. played, played you guys in, in pre-season. pre-season. We got um, absolutely battered. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, just a couple of other boys like here and there throughout the league. But, yeah. yeah. Only a little bit about it. But I so right away we were scoring goals, young team. Um, and we hadn't had been on the, the best run of form. Like we'd be lost the week before to Bankstown City 2-1. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was a good three points from us. Um, we had unfortunately them back up during the week, went up to an Epean and lost 4-0. Um, that, that is, that's MPL2 all over, but... I know, I know. Score, score 4, concede 4. Goals, four. And four. And a four um, on it. Tigers right. and Dolly. So, I've got a confession to make. <laughs> 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 so last week in the games, I said that Dolly were playing against Bankstown City. Don't know where I got it from. <laughs> But it's obviously wrong, not playing against Tigers. So in the results... Bankstown side, just to stand on an empty pitch. That's it. Where's <laughs> Dolly? You were at Arlington waiting for Dolly. <laughs> um, but I so They played Dolly at Arlington and then um, Tigers 1-3-2. So Tigers again, spoke about last week. Good start to the season. Um, Tigers always, aye. They're decent. always kind of there or thereabouts. But yeah. this, they're just kind of... Going about their business, I think they've won five and drawn one so far. Yeah, it's um, Mount Drew at the top, isn't it? Aye, they won again, man. Six from six. Yeah. yeah. Was it, was it just got two, two, two one? Two one against the Queen. Yeah, they're getting to be, they're doing a Marconi, aren't they? We won those, we two ones, sneaking through the results. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man. It's just like, 
Ignore that game, they got the points, next one. I think the, the biggest thing for Madrid just now is that they're not conceding goals. Do you know mm. what I mean? That's massive, They've conceded aye. three goals yeah. in their first They've always games. been like a hard-working team, to be yeah. fair. Aye. Aye. So defensively, they're doing really well. Um, Bulls lost 4-1 to Bankstown City. I was surprised, uh, very surprised at that. Yeah, so really? What, even what, Bankstown Lions or Bankstown City? Bankstown City yeah. Lions. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm not that surprised. Yeah, oh, they've, they've, started started they've not started well at all. They've got good players one moment. Ah, so, so we'll see the first few weeks, we were very like, we backed them the whole time. Like, are going to be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just looks like maybe they've took a wee while to get going. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, they beat yeah. us 2 1. Because Bulls started well, they're not. Bulls started Bulls won their first four. Ah, so they won the first four. I think Bulls have set pick a lot of points. I mean, the context is there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. It's a shot. It's not really a shot, maybe. The week before, Bulls. Went down to 10 men after 20 minutes yeah, right. and they drew two each. So that was the first points that dropped. Mm. So you're obviously left thinking just they've done well to combat. They were 2 0 down, they scored two in the last kind of 20 minutes mm. to, to draw the game. So they would look like they were just going to kind of continue that momentum. And as I said, Bankstown haven't started particularly well. Mm. Um, but that's a big statement. That Is that a sign of things to come, do you reckon? Oh, I would say, I would say so, because as we've said from the right? start, yeah, we've been kind of, they've got the players. Is Chris Payne back, is he still out? No, Chris Payne, he played against us, he scored against us. Oh, did he? Before I How was he? But he, he didn't score at the weekend, the, the young boy, Mabio Garang. Oh, yeah, three, okay, yep. The one I think they got from Rockdale last year. We got a Harry. Yeah, he scored three. Not bad. Um, Everyone loves that trick. Three, ten minutes, 69, six, 76 and 79 minutes he scored. <laughs> wow, um, nice so I, again, Mount Druitt, six from six. Dunbar beat Bonnie Rigg. Right, Bonnie Rigg's a funny one, but isn't it? Uh, Bonnie Rigg, but it's... Funny. Yeah, well, it's, it's so, when, so when you were in, when you were in, first started with Apia, Bonnie Rigg were one of the big clubs, weren't they? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, and they had been like the, you know, four, five years prior to that as well. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't sure if you they caught had, them in that era. Yeah, no, they, they were still solid. Um, I, I suppose they were probably on a bit of a come down. Yeah, yeah. When I, when I first came to Apia, but... When I, like when I first started in NPL when I was like 18 or whatever at um, at Rockdale, they were like the, the top 10. Top team, I think team. at the end of that like that first season I played in NPL, um, we actually got to the grand final and it was against, um, it was against Bonnery and yeah, Robbie yeah. Eunice scored. Oh, yeah. 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 So, yeah, they're, they're probably obviously fallen from grace since since then, but still, you know. If it's some family, you know, Eunice, by the way, oh, Robbie yeah. Eunice, Bonnery obviously was... I didn't see him play, but a cracking player. Marcus Yunus obviously at Wanderers, yep. doing a bit of league. Anthony Yunus plays for us, very good player. And then the daughter, I think she's the youngest woman, the youngest girl to play in the W League or something mm. like that. Mm. Have you, have you had, have you had yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, some, yeah. aye. Wow. Apparently she's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. football genetics. Uh, I think I have, aye. a few then though. So like you've got the boy Caspers. Eddie Caspers, yeah. Eddie and Caspers. his sister's playing for Sydney FC. So yeah. Maddie's oh, in right. Sydney FC and there's an older girl at Western Sydney Wanderers. So well, it's the same family. Same family. Oh, is it right? And then Holman as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. Jake, is it um, Bulls? Yeah. Co- Corey's at Sydney FC. Mm. And she is at Sydney FC. Not you? bad. Ah, that's decent, that man. Aye. There you go. Um, Parents are buzzing. They <laughs> certainly <laughs> are. Aye, so that's a big result, that Dunbar. Um, first win of the season for them. Um, MacArthur Rams were the same, first win of the season. They beat SD Raiders 1 0 at SD Raiders. And Mario Alex saved a pen. And Mario Alex saved a pen. He's a good keeper, Mario, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and not in each. Um, ST Raiders is a, another funny one. I think they were fourth last year. So Boy Rig last year finished third, missed out on the playoff, but on the last day of the season. Mm. So obviously did well. ST Raiders the same. And both of them have struggled so far. Um, is, um, is Nicky Carl still the. Yeah, he's a. Yeah, right. um, I think he's TV though, I think. Yeah, right, I okay. Uh, I, I think he might be, I don't think he's a gaffer He's only gaffer, he's a TT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he stepped down as a TT. And then also, Lines. last game was in a Lions, 3-3 draw with Akoa. Um, Akoa. Yeah, made a shocker, three goals. Mm. I don't think he played. Who? Well, that's why he scored three goals in, the keeper. Unbelievable. Yeah, I haven't caught up with him this Yeah, game. I don't think he did, which is, I don't know why, but I don't think he did. Um, so Akoa two. were 2-1 down, we did 2-1 in the 83rd minute. Two one minute. Uh, two each, I call equalised. Then Ahmed scored a penalty in the 87th minute mm. oh. to go 3 2 up. And then I call equalised in the 90th minute. Mitch They've started well, I call, haven't they? I don't know. Four draws. They're fourth. Uh, not bad, by the way. Uh, Decent, they, 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 they've not been great in the last few years. Yeah, so. I think they've had three draws and three wins or something. Mm. So they're uh, doing well. 
Aye, well, there you go, MPL 2. Who's top it? So Mount Druitt's top, smashing it. Mount Druitt top, Tigers second. There you go. There you go, that's top. Who's bottom? Who's bottom? Tigers this week. Who's bottom? Bonnie, like, I think. Or Dumba? One or two? Dumba or fifth. The mm. Fifth? No, 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 sorry, they're not fifth. That's an absolute lie. <laughs> Um, they've got five points, I was looking at it yesterday, I think one of the bullets. I can pull it up right now. I get it up, mate. <laughs> don't don't Twi- pull it up, it's going to tell me I'm wrong. No. <laughs> 20 20 No, mate. MacArthur Rams were then, MacArthur Rams won at the weekend. Won now. Okay, cool. Well, MPL 3, I will wait for 10 when I get up the yeah, round table. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking for it. Okay, quick, I'll just wait until the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, don't, worry about it, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, MPL3, just we'll go through the main the main points here. Horseville beat Ride Magic 9-0. Or else. 9-0. That's been 9-0 and an 8-2 in that league. Did you know Horseville hadn't had any points until round six? 9-0. And then they went 9-0. Man. That's shambolic. Yeah, nah, nah, you can't be losing that. Nah, you can't, man. <laughs> What's going on? Nah, you can't. Like, I don't know what happened. But then just, there was also a 7 1. Jets beat Paramatta 7 1. I did not see that score. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I caught my eye as well. I was like, what, what's going on? Paramatta. At Paramatta. Did you take no tip Paramatta? Nah, no, definitely not. No. no. We all tipped Jets. 7 1. 7 1. At home. And I didn't know. What's that? Is that like round four or five? Or? Seven. Seven. Or seven days they put them in a week game, you know? Seven they're all, they're they're all mid- running at the same time. Like. I thought they were around the head, you know? No, no. No, I don't think so. No? Okay. Well, the round six then, it'll be made. Round six, uh-huh. 7-1. Seven so that's how many goals in that can league? 16, that's 19, crazy. 20, 24, 29, 30, 32. Decent. That's a lot of goals, man. <laughs> he wants to mentor team. That's a, that's a shambles, by the way. 9-0, uh, Hustle. Well done, Connors. Won a hat-trick. Aye, so the hat-trick. Aye, we, ch- we cheeky dink of the keeper from a distance mm. as well. Newcastle, it was part of them. Todorovsky scored again, scored twice. No way! <laughs> He's got twice, two, two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. That is a sh- I'm telling you, buddy. Where the money? I hope someone put that on. But I don't you can. You can Better than Pell 3? No. You cannot. Oh um, my god, that's a joke. Two goals. Every game this season, two goals have scored. Todorovsky, fair play him. Um, and then South Coast beat Prospect, lost. 1 0. Ah, Yanni Bergash scored. scored. Um, Poor Prospect, man. Yanni was at um, Sydney United last year. Mm. Now he's playing South Coast League. I take it he lives there, don't we? I must. No. Um, Mounties won. The uh-huh. Mounties won. Yep, yeah, UK scored again. Um, we should this week at UK? They're first, aren't they? Mounties. Aye, yeah. this week at yeah. UK, was it Rowdy Mill? Is that Rowdy Mill dropped down to play Mounties and he's scored like nine goals or something? Yeah, right. In six games. Solid. Japanese lad. Aye, good player. Um, in a West, beat Hawkesbury away 2 0. Um, and Banks and United beat Camden 4 1 after having a week off last week for the debate. An odd number Will of they have a teams. buy? Yeah, there's a buy week in. Well, oh, is there? Oh, I love, oh, sorry, I love a buy in MPL1. <laughs> oh, oh. What would you do in your buy week? Go on holiday? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, just jet off Phuket for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, nah, nah, so there's a buy. Both rounds. Uh, okay, right, big man. Let's dive into your career. So. You've got a notepad with you, hopefully that's part of your career. Oh, I just wrote that's the name, just so I don't forget them, yeah. Ah, good. <laughs> so this is your, this is your, your time to shine, mate. Yeah, right. Start up, let's just start off with youth football. In between that, you can throw anyone under the bus for half the year. Yeah, right. All good, all good. But uh, youth career? Um, you're at Jets, obviously. Anyone before that? Uh, well, Sydney FC? Sharks. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, when I first started playing, like, it was, play, it was called Premier Youth League back in the day. Um, yeah. So... 12s, 13s and 14s, I started at Arpia, actually, yeah. funnily enough, because I lived in, in Leichhardt, we lived there for about 10 years, um, so that's where I started, and then in 15s I went to Sutherland Sharks, because yeah, we, yeah. we had moved to Sutherland because I went to Endeavour, sports right, high school, okay. with Euro, Euro and whatnot, um, and then stayed there, so 15s, 16s, 18s, 20s at Sutherland. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a pretty good 20s team, to be honest with you. I was, think. Bay, was Bay there at that time, no? Who? Bay. Bay. Oh, or Perry he he, he, He's younger than me, so I think he would have been just below in, in the age group. Was Perry there? Perry Moustakis? Yeah, he was I, in the first team yeah, yeah. Um, at that time. I was in the 20s. Um, but we had like 
um, Kiki Normal. Also Leute, also ich hatte den Kiki bei Sydney FC. Ja. Yeah. Um, so Kiki was in the team. Um, Dylan Fox, he used to play A League and now he's he's playing overseas as well. So you've got a few ex-pros? Yeah, we had a, we had a really solid 20s team to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, at the end of the season they only gave one contract to one of the 20s boys. Wow. Um, and we, yeah, we, and we won we won the league as well in the 20s. So. So um, only one player get taken up to us? At Sutherland, yeah, back, back in those days, yeah. Because wow. I mean, they had a pretty solid first team as well. I think Robbie Stanton was the yeah, coach. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had like Penny Nickers, um, Savralakis. Surely so. though, regardless of how good your first team is, mm. you need to give more was than that, one was of the Was that a blanket contract? rule with the club? Or was that just like, I don't, the, the, I don't just worries are good enough to come up? Yeah, I don't know, to be honest with you. It, might, it must have been a blanket rule. Because um, there was, you know, there was a lot of good players in, in that 20s team that didn't get an opportunity in the first and Kiki was lucky enough to, to get it and he deserved it as well. And then thereafter he went to Sydney FC. Um, but yeah, you know, for some of the other boys that were, were ready, we just didn't get the opportunity. So I ended up um, the next season going to Rockdale yeah. um, in the 20s there. But, you know, talking with the club, they said, you know, if you, if you get an opportunity, um, you know, you probably do well and, and stay in the team and, and that's funnily enough what happened I think I only played like four games in the 20s um, and then got called up for the first team um, and I mean as a centre back like being 18 back in those days it was, it was a lot more physical as well yeah. um, playing MPL so I mean yeah that was a that was a pretty pretty good learning curve for me I think <laughs> um, I imagine. yeah playing with, with some some big boys um, but yeah, I mean, I relished that opportunity. Like I said earlier, we ended up making the um, the grand final at the end of the season against um, against Bonnyrigg. Yep. And yeah, like I said, Robbie Eunice scored one nil. Um, so yeah, thereafter went to Sydney FC. Got got caught up for Sydney FC in the youth team under um, Steve Corico. Yep. Yep. So did really well there as well. We had a, we had a, probably one of the best teams that I played in just in terms of talent um some of the names in that team it's just ridiculous um well Ma max burgie was in that team he's still playing for cnfc yeah. now um marley was in that team right um who else we had bizarreness um jacob trapp um, just yeah terry antonis there was lots and lots of names in that team um but we won that youth league in that first season at sydney fc in the youth um i ended up getting a, a debut um, later on in the season against Newcastle Jets, played against... For the first team? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, away uh, at Newcastle. Um, at right back, though. <laughs> How did it go? Yeah, good. I mean, we won, We won. I think it was 2-0, something like that. Yeah. Um, and we had Del Piero back in those back days. Back pocket for you as well? Oh, <laughs> well, I was up against um, Craig Goodwin. So, oh, okay. Yeah, like, and because I, uh, I played right back, he was playing left wing. That's before you know he was playing for the Socceroos and whatnot. But so hold on, you played in with Del Piero. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, because he was at Sydney FC. Ah, no, but was he starting the game you started? Yeah, yeah. How yeah. was he? Yeah, class. Was so he? How was he? I was in the just, changing room. That. Sorry. How was he in the changing room? He was pretty like pretty chill, pretty respectful. Like not one of those players not that vocal. had a massive ego. Um, yeah. it just you know, he was Del Piero. Like he's played Champions League, he's played for Italy, won the World Cup. Like every, wow. if, if he spoke, like everyone was listening. Oh, like, I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, like he didn't have a massive ego and, and you couldn't see that on him. Like he would just look down upon, like he, he had, a, you know, a word to me and some of the young, younger boys just, you know, saying like, well done and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, great, great guy. Um, it was, was he not renowned for being a wee bit lazy? And I mean, obviously not as Juventus career. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. when it was in the FC on the, in game day. To be, to be fair, I think he only trained like twice a week. That lovely. <laughs> he had his own, he had his own room. Um, where he'd get like massages and, and like do his gym work and all that kind of stuff. But it was like his own separate room oh, to really? the rest of the, the squad as well. Um, and oh, he always had his, Great contract, Dan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> great contract. <laughs> and he always had um, uh, his like photographer around as well. So yeah. It photographer was, on a massage room? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, I'm talking about him not having an ego, but like- <laughs> my, my first, my first, I went to Sydney 2014. Yeah. And I, um, I went to Bondi Junction to the wee, no, East Village, what's it called? What's it? Eastgate. Eastgate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I walk into Willie's or Coles, or it was in there. <laughs> I walk around the aisle, and I was like, that guy's spitting image of Del Piero, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd literally been in Sydney for two days, 
and completely like, identity league. And I've walked around a field, done my shop and that, got back to the house and I'm at to my mate, I'm like, it's a guy in a spit with a Del Piero. He's like, oh, I probably was him. And I start laughing. He's like, no, he plays for us in the FC. I'm like, you're joking. <laughs> I just walked past Del Piero, man. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable, man. So it was just with his missus, just <laughs> unbelievable, man. Yeah, but he's a, he's a great player. Like, oh, he was a joke. You, you just see him in training, though, like, He's not one of those explosive players where, you know, he's just going to run through the whole defence, this, that and the other, but he ends up doing it anyway, but he does it in such like a... Like, graceful. Like graceful, <laughs> slow motion. Like, he's just so smart with the ball. Um, and yeah, it was, it was great to, to be in training sessions around him and, and obviously end up getting my debut and, and playing, you know, alongside him as well, so... Did he give you any well. tips you, you like, mark him in training? Or? Mm, not not so much. Just just, 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 <laughs> just just praising, just praising when, oh. when you've done well in training and whatnot. Ah, stop it, That means a lot that age, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, and then after that, uh, I think uh, what was his name? Uh, Graham Arnold. Oh, Graham yeah. Arnold yeah, came yeah. in the next year as a coach. Um, some of the boys out of the youth team they had sort of moved on. Um, I stayed as well, so I played another year in the youth team. Um, unfortunately, didn't didn't get a, a first team contract, um, but sort of in and around the first team, didn't really get much, much opportunity. Um, ended up doing all right in the youth team as well, uh, in terms of the ladder and whatnot. Because um, in those days, like we used to play like your Perths and your Adelaide's, like right, just yeah. the, the mirror. Oh, mirror mentioned that last week. Yeah, 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 mirroring the the first team. So those were the those were the good days in the in yeah. the youth team where you got to fly. Ah, you know, back and forth rather than just playing in the MPL all the time against yeah, you know, Sydney teams. Um, but yeah, look, at the end of that season, um, there wasn't an opportunity to sign for the first. I mean, back in those days, like Sydney FC was you know, team. The, the team. So they were always going to go and get like a some you know German centre-back that's been playing Bundesliga for like the last yeah, you know, 12 years or whatever. Um, but, you know, luckily enough, an opportunity uh, popped up over at Newcastle Jets. So... Went there, um, tried for a week or two, and ended up signing there um, for two years. Did you move there? Yeah, so so moved moved there the um, the following season um, to play for Newcastle. And what happened there was I actually signed under Phil Stubbins was the coach at that time, um, and you know had had plans to sort of transition like a, a younger centre back into the first team because they're they're sort of. Their team was, you know, suffering over the, the, the years prior, like in terms of results and, you know, their team was getting a little bit older and whatnot. So that was the sort of plan to integrate like a younger centre-back and partner him up with, I think they were signing Nigel Bogart. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was going to sort of like partner up with me. That was the plan, I suppose. But then... Is Nigel Bogart, what nationality is he? Uh, he's Aussie. Oh, he's Aussie. Yeah, remember Winston Bogart? Winston Bogart like. Yeah, but pro- probably, probably Dutch background. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think it was just before the start of the season, they actually uh, sacked Phil Stubbins. So they brought in another manager. Had his own, yeah, had his own had his own plan and, and brought yeah. in his own players. And then you know that um, that whole plan to to get regular game time and be the next you know. It's hard to it when I play, I got a new oh, Gavin comes in because it's like yeah. all that hard be, work. Yeah, you can be on either side of it where you're not going to game. Mm. A new Gavin comes in, you ain't cool, fresh start. Or you can be like you said, you're starting, or you've got my chance. Mm. New Gavin comes in, doesn't like you, and you're like, yeah. if I just go on again. I yeah. also think that if a, a new coach comes in, they come in with more pressure than the, the previous guy had. Yeah. So straight away they're thinking of I need to get results. So as you see, they bring they bring them not really trust. To mm. Take a look at what's already there sometimes. Yeah. Especially when you're young, that's rough, man. Exactly, exactly, and that's and that's pretty much how it turned out. Like as soon as he got the sack and new manager came in, um, a lot of the younger boys like myself had to start over again. And um, you know, like you said, new manager un- under pressure to get results straight away, and they bring in more experienced players, and you know, you start to just drop down the pecking order again and have to start all over again. So that's pretty much what happened to me. I never really got an opportunity to play at Newcastle, which, you know, doesn't really sit well with me, yeah. even after all these years, because I thought that, you know, could have could have done well and, and whatnot, and, and I worked hard to get to that point, but it was what it was. Um, and then later in the season, because I didn't really see any progression in, in getting closer to playing, I, I, I had to sit down with the manager and said, you know, like, what's the story? Like... Am I, am, I, am I even going to get an opportunity to, to prove, yeah. you know, my ability to you? 
and he basically just said, look, I didn't sign you. I've got really no obligation to play you and you're not really in our plans at all. So I suggest you look for another club. Honestly, but it's not a bad thing, was it? I guess so, but I had another year on my contract and he had signed a two year contract as well. Um, so I sort of had that that ultimatum, do I risk staying for another year, like whole season, just training in Newcastle yeah. and knowing that I'm not going to get picked for the team every week. Um, and just, you know, by the off chance, you know, a new manager might come in and have a different, you know, perspective. But some, some graphers could butter you up, but do you know I mean? Be like, oh, just hang around, you get an opportunity, but really deep down he knows you're uh, not getting a game. Mm. And he shafts you because you're like, you've just kept me here for a full year. I've yeah. trained. How old were you at this point? Uh, I just turned 21. See, that, that, that's hard at that age. I think, so, see, if, obviously I'm not never going to be in that position, right? Mm. But if you have a young player who's been signed in a, a deal to come in, surely you think it's worth having a look. No, I agree. You know I mean? So how long were you there when he was there? How long did you have to at least have a look at you? Um, a full season? Well, I mean, we had that conversation like halfway through the first season. Ah, so he's looked at you properly? Right, okay. Yeah, well... Not in a game, but in a... Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't get any chances to play um, with the first team, really. Were you training well? Yeah, well, I was I was a first team player. Yeah. yeah. So I was on contract for two years, but I mean, he just had his own... It's funny, that's just your luck. It's your, sometimes you're looking at who... who yeah, you're exactly. So, I mean, I had the... I had a choice to make, like, whether I stay and just ignore what he's said and just hope that things turn around and, and you know, a new manager comes in or whatever, or, or do I try and look for another team and that's what we did um, at that time all the other A-League teams they were all full because yeah. it was like you know during the season um, and the only other team that was available just for the interim well that was the plan at the time um, was was Arpia or I think it was two other teams in the MPL1 so I, I sort of thought like oh do I just stick around at, in, in the A-League and hope that something pops up or do I you know jump back into NPL, get game time, you know, get my, my form going, this, that and the other, and then, you know, when the time's right, you know, hopefully get another opportunity at A-League or somewhere else, but never ended up happening, yeah, yeah. here I am. Have you never, so obviously been at Appia for a while, was there never a point, especially at 2016, 2020 period where you thought, we'll give A-League another crack, or was there anyone sniffing about, or? Uh, well, I mean, uh, that, the first couple of years after I came back from Arpia, that was always that was always the goal head. to get yeah, back yeah. up to the A League yeah. or go somewhere else. Um, but like I said, it just it just didn't really eventuate, and there wasn't any opportunities. Um, with these things as well, especially in Australia, I think you need to have someone always batting for you behind the scenes and yeah. an agent, you know, knocking on doors and calling people. Mm -hmm. Which at that time I didn't really have, which might have helped. Um, but I mean, on the pitch, I was doing everything that that I was supposed to. Like we were. I think we made three grand finals in a row at Arpia, um, yeah. you know, back to back to back. And then, you know, we, we were doing well. I was, like I won a championship with them in my second year. Like I was doing everything that I, that I thought I could do. Yeah. So you can do it really? To, to stand out as a, as a young centre back um, and get an opportunity. But like I said, it just, just didn't really pop up. Um, I went overseas when I was 20, 23, a couple of seasons after I um, joined Arpia. I went to... Because I, I my, like my dad's Jamaican and English, so I've got an English passport. Yeah. Um. So it makes it easy, obviously, to go yeah. on trial and whatnot. And I got asked to go to Oxford and um, Blackpool, so I went there for about a month and a half on trial. Mm -hmm. Um, did alright, but nothing ended up happening. Um, How did you find that? Sound uncomfortable? To be fair, <coughs> that was because they were like Blackpool. You say Blackpool were decent that time or not? Mm. Blackpool, just Blackpool had a period, yeah, remember they were like... And the, within the, the Premier Sector period? Do you know what's his face? Um, what's the called? The funny guy? My God, I've Holloway. Black, Hol Ian Holloway. Oh, yeah, Holloway. yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't there gaffer at that time though. Well, um, when he was there, that's when they were decent. Yeah, yeah. When, when they were in the Premier League, he was, he yeah. was a gaffer. Yeah, he's a funny <laughs> Um But yeah, I think that was about maybe five seasons ago now that I went. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a bit, yeah. And, and tried at, at Blackpool. Standard, uh, like... Just, I, I suppose the difference is physicality. They're all big lads. Like, I looked at the team, I looked at the centre backs, and I was like, I'd be considered Small. a smaller centre back oh, yeah, yeah. and like a more ball playing centre back because they, their, their two starting centre backs were both like six foot three, six foot four. Yep. So I was like, I'm either going to be a right back here or I'm just, you know, going to be seen as like a ball playing centre back. 
Um, I mean, I, I did all right there. Like they, they wanted to have a, a look for another couple of weeks, but I was sort of in, in that time of my life where I'd, I was just turning 24 and I had a job that I was really enjoying. I'd sort of not so much given up on football, but I had sort of put in all this effort and thought that I was doing enough and wasn't getting a reward for it. Yeah. And I, it was sort of like holding me back in terms of my mentality and like, yeah. you know, you, you have this dream your whole life to get back to, to playing professional because you, you know, you got there and, and then it got sort of taken away from you or whatever. Um, so I'd sort of like put that behind me and then at the end of the season, this opportunity just came up out of nowhere and I was just like, well, you know, I'll never forgive myself if I just say no. Yeah, but, um, yeah, so I was in a, like a weird one where I trialed for Oxford, um, thought I did all right, but they, they said no. And then I went to Blackpool, um, was doing all right. And then it got to about like a month and a bit and I'd been away from work and, you know, they were calling saying like, you know, another week i don't think we can we can have a job for you if you if you yeah, do come back so eventually so i sort of thought you know i don't i don't but i didn't back myself at the time to okay. stay did you get that i do yeah i do because i mean it wasn't really like a career where i was gonna you know push on in that company or anything like that i just sort of found a lot of comfort in my lifestyle here in australia you know, football's got a lot of uncertainty in it so i suppose that stability would be comfortable yeah i mean another couple of weeks i i thought the scenario would be i'd try out another couple of weeks i'd say no anyway i'd yeah. come back and i wouldn't have a job and i'd have to start all over again but like you just said um yeah probably looking back i do regret it because you know i was still young a lot yeah, of lost my life, life now so um most but, importantly sorry to interrupt did you go to pleasure beach <laughs> oh, I actually did. Yeah, yeah. It, the, Max. Yeah, it was um, it was in the middle of it was in the middle of it was the January transfer window. Oh, okay. So the weather was mean. Oh, yeah. But I, I did it anyway. Like I walked down because there was nothing else to do. They had me in the um the hotel attached to the stadium yeah. at Blackpool, and like I didn't really know anyone. I was just walking around and whatnot, and I was like, "Fuck out!" Like, how is this a summer location? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's all like the theme park and oh, stuff. Man, oh, man, no. Oh, it's been hard for you as well in terms of an extra, an extra few weeks, just because you were by yourself. Uh yeah. I mean, it was do it was doing my head in a bit, but like I knew that you know I was there for a reason. Yeah. It was more so. To be fair, it was more so like losing the job because I was actually enjoying yeah, it, okay. and I had sort of put it all put the whole football opportunities behind me as well. So I was really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, I probably do regret it a little bit not staying and just seeing what happened. But I, I just didn't really back myself against the, the boys that were already there and, and actually getting a contract. But who's to say it would have? Yeah, exactly, mate. It's a hard, it's a hard one. Isn't it? There's no, there's no right answer. Yeah. Like you can only do. Uh, you can only make a decision with the things you have in front of you. Yeah. So then, yeah, just came back. Um, I've been playing for Arpia ever since. So I think we've won uh, one grand final and I think two league championships and a Waratah Cup. So like, yeah, about four. Do you reckon that should end set up here until you chuck it? I mean, I've always said if there was an A-league team that, that actually was serious about offering a contract then you can why not like it's, yeah. it's you know it's it's here in australia if, if it's like good enough money to live on then yeah but i don't know the opportunities never really come about there was a, a little sniff at western united after last season or yeah. during last season but that didn't end up eventuating into anything um but well, yeah the beer could be decent me yeah who knows I, I don't even know what the structure is going to look like to be honest yeah, with you yeah, so yeah, sure. i mean and, and I'm in a, a B League club, so yeah, and I don't even have enough information about it. So yeah. who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, the last couple of years, I would have thought that I would be, you know, too old to to think about continuing, you know, in, 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 in a professional career. Well, I'm 29 now. Yeah, but, but then you know, I, I watched the the Champions League the other day, and Pepe is still playing Champions yeah, League. 40, 41. So. Honestly, mate, nowadays, as long as you look after your body, yeah, you, you've got all oh, like you could. Oh, look at Donovan. And I know it's still like it's NPL, but he's still starting every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. absolutely fine, and you're playing in a position that's, I want to say, it's easier physically, but. Mm. For a striker, you're bombing channels, you're running. You're, yeah. You can have a very cruisy game, like if you play UNSW or something. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah. 
<laughs> no, for sure. I mean, if there was a good opportunity in the, in the A-League or whatever, or even like say Asia or something like that, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely take it because I mean, you can always, you can always work. I'm not really in, the, in a rush to yeah, secure yeah. a career or whatever um, outside of football, but I know that in football, your season, you know, your season, your career, sorry, is, is sure. limited. So yeah. definitely. I mean, once it feels like you've been so close to it, just, even just one season pro, like proper season pro, you maybe yeah. satisfy a lot of your... Yeah, exactly. Just to, to not sort of look back and be like, oh, you know, where could I have gotten to? Yeah, 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 yeah no, I get that. That's... Um, but, but yeah. I still, I mean, still had to play with Del Piero. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's incredible, man. And you've had a very successful MPL career. Um, that's class, mate. Probably, probably, mate. We're going to do the five a side team. If you don't pick, oh, he's on MPL. Del Piero's never uh, played the MPL. Not, yeah. <laughs> I used to play for, I used to play for Prospect, didn't I? Del Piero. That's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, oh, Christian Vieri played the MPL, didn't he? He played Marconi. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he popped out. And, and Zola at, uh, oh, at Arpia. Yeah, uh, Arp, uh, Yeah, they brought him over for like one game or something. Zola played Vieri? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I remember that from what, way was back. Was that as in like, as a, as like a youth, youth player? Zola? Uh -huh. No, like, wh where do I remember it from? No, but what age was Zola when he played for Oh, he was like, retired. He, he was, would have oh, so it was late on the field, not early on. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they brought him over to play in a game, I think it was against Marconi or something. Yeah, I remember wow. that because I, like, I was like a ball boy. Um, and funnily enough, Parisi was like uh -huh. the captain or, or playing back then, and I was so a ball boy. He was quality. Yeah, yeah was at Lambert, good. when Lambert used to be grass. Um, and like, I even mentioned that story to, to Franco sometimes, and he, and he has a laugh about it. Um, when he, he had a bit more of an afro by then. <laughs> but um, yeah, they, they brought Zola over That's to play a game for Arby. It was, it was crazy. Have you seen the video of Zola doing the free kicks? To the youth players? Yeah. Have you seen it? <laughs> no. It's class. He's just, he's just teaching whoever he's coaching how to have a free kick. There's like four demos and it is right in the stanch. Just takes like two steps and just top bin. Yeah. Top bin. <laughs> wow. Just this boy, it's easy. Just clap at the top bin. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, Zola. Um, okay, mate. Five aside team from MPL players you've played with and you can't pick yourself. Yeah, right now. Well, well Euro's not getting a team anyway, he's rubbish. Right, Euro's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's hard to be fair. I mean, I had some names written down, but I like a late inclusion. I mean, if, if MPL was just, you know, cage and five aside, then I think Josh Simmons would yep. win the Ballon d'Or every year. Yeah. Like, you, you wouldn't pick it, but- That's a good point, by the way. If we say five asides, are we going five asides off the wall? Ah, always, in a, in a, in a cage's environment. Yeah, okay, so you're going to go Simmons? Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's, in, the, he's in the mix. He's, he's in the mix, mix. Okay, okay. Okay. Who's your um, keeper? Go with keeper first. Do I have to have a keeper? <laughs> Fuck it, you're not going to do too well. Ooh. You're going to end up in like Parramatta? Yeah, right. If, 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 if I'm going to say keeper... You need a goalkeeper for five side team. Well, I've only really played with Ivan and, and Buzza and Luke Turnbull, actually. But just for the experience and, you know, the player that he, the career he's had as well, definitely, definitely Ivan will put him yeah, in there. Decent yeah. keeper, eh? Yeah. Um, and I look, I, like I said, late inclusion. I, I'd mentioned him, Josh, because he said, "Oh, you got to mention me." <laughs> Crumble to the pressure. <laughs> but to be, to be, to be fair, like you wouldn't pick it, but the, like in training, Josh, he just he goes past. Like he's a centre back, mind you. Yeah, right? he plays no, he's very good. Man. But on the ball, him and his brother Sean, the both are the, brilliant. The, the, the most technically gifted players in our squad. Mate, do you know when I, when I first got involved in MPL, someone mentioned them to me. Mm. I didn't really know anything about MPL and like, oh, those two lads are you know, like, two of the best players. Mm. And I thought, that sounds, sorry lads, then I look like football players. Yeah, they do. And they then they I'll finish again like, they were brilliant, man. Yeah. Like, can, I, can I explain why they were so good? It was just yeah. one of those, like you say, obviously, I'm not comparing it to Del Piero, but that idea of going, I don't really know how they do it. Yeah, yeah. But they can't get the ball off them. Yeah. It looks so comfortable. Yeah. They've always got time. Yeah, me neither. Like, I just I look at them both, they probably they look like they you know work at night shift after the meet. <laughs> but but like Joshy, he just goes past people like they're mannequins, like he goes uh, past like the whole squad and just puts it top bins and like, bro, you're saying that. Done that. Uh, yeah, he's yeah. a good man. And and Shawnee's probably like probably the best player that I've ever played. Do you know with. what I actually think I, I don't wouldn't say he's underrated, but I don't think People appreciate how good he is. Sean, 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 Sean is probably the best player that I've ever played with at, at NPL level. Like yeah. he's the most. So is he in your team here? Yeah, yeah. Is he in your five-a-side team? Yeah. Uh, Sean, Sean's definitely in there. You put them. You put them both in. 
Can I fit a fourth end, man? You need to, you need to get stitch one in them up. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll go, I'll go Sean. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a good, good team so far. Yeah, yeah. Decent no. start. Yeah, Sean, Sean's definitely one of the best players I've ever played with at this level. If not the best. Has he always been at Appia? He was actually at Rockdale when I was there when I was younger. Yeah, okay. And then he went to, um, went, went to Appia. There's quite a lot of you that have been at Appia for a good period of time, eh? Yeah, I think the only ones that have been there longer than me now are uh, Sean Simmons and... Uchino. Uchino, yeah. Oh, Uchino's been off for ages, yeah. Yeah, and then me and Josh played the same season. Um, but yeah, yeah. And who's um, you got? Probably Tosuku. Tosuku Sake. He, he was in the team, he was our 10. It was Japanese, little Japanese um, maestro. Technician? Uh, yeah. No, see, what is it? He went to the VPO after he was with us, but he, when he came to us, like, unbelievable. Like, it's just like that, like, like that style where it, it's similar to how I was describing, like ADP. And, yeah, yeah. And, um, and oh, even, ADP. And, even, and, even, and, and <laughs> even, 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 even like Franco as well. Like back in the day, where the FP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. FP ten. FP ten. No, like just just silky, but like with a little bit more agility. Um, you know that that Japanese flair. But he was class. He came in and, and helped us win the league in I think it was seventeen or eighteen. So it's Tas Tasuka. T Tosuku. Tosuku. Sakia. Yeah. Get on the back of your top. Yeah. So him and him and Sean, I probably put. If you spell that well, you're done. Ten out of ten. S U S U K U S Y K I E. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. That'll right. do. Hundred percent. Um, I'll have to put Franco in there as well. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you'd put him in there. Very, 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 very similar style to to Del Piero. To be honest yeah. with you, like I know they're both Italian. They both play ten, mm -hmm. but um, just the way that he can slow down the game, or you know, obviously when he was playing, just ridiculous. And his close ball control, like, control. I'd never seen like a player that calm under pressure with like so many people around. Those players do my nothing. Yeah. And I, I don't, yeah. I, and it's a good do Just press resistance. We had a boy like, last year at Spirit called Kota Odakura and he's been playing Spirit for a few years, but mm. mate, he'll go as a six, take the ball off a centre half and there's like three guys behind him and you see the centre half and like, are you sure you want it? Yeah. And he just jogs towards it, he receives it and it's almost like the other players don't tackle him. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Why none of you tackling him? Just turns I'm like I still want to attack on him yeah. but it's almost like he's got such good awareness mm. of how much time he's got what for it to be on it looks like he's always got time yeah he's incredible man yeah because Franco he would like he would never he would never overrun it with the ball to give you enough of an opportunity to put a foot in like you wouldn't even see people like being able to to put in a challenge because the ball was never close enough for uh, them to dive in you know what I mean that's how yeah. How good Amazing. he was with the ball at his feet. That's um, proper footballer, isn't it? Yeah. Proper footballer. So who, who we got? We got Ivan. Franco. Ivan Frankie. <laughs> After the Legends team, Sean. So we just need a, a defensive player. Oh, you can have any. You can have any position. Yeah. But a defensive player would be ideal. Um. I probably just because he's my like one of my best mates that I played with, and I was with him at um. Newcastle as well, but then he came to Arpia and, and won a championship with us, and then he went to VPL. Um, but his name's Brandon Lundy, <laughs> probably one of the funniest kids that I've I've ever met and 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 been mates with as well. But he was like a he was a winger that turned into a fullback just to like fit into our team, right. and then he sort of got pushed to like left back as well. And he's right footed, mind you, um, and he, he got pushed to left back, and just because he's that like. He's that much of like a like a hyperfix like he, he hyperfixates on, on things so much and he just forced himself to go to the park like every day and just practice with his left foot. Left foot. And he just became ambidextrous and he just started using his left foot through the season and became like I does surprise me not enough I mean, obviously I had that chance as well, but not enough people working a week foot, right? Mm. It's one of those things that it's such a simple thing to improve, but it makes a ridiculous difference to someone's game, especially if you're young. If I was again, I could go back. One thing I could change, like when I was younger, just work on my weak foot. May not change anything, but at least yeah. you'd be you'd be a better player, a hundred percent. I think that if you put so say you're in a coaching session and you ask kids to work on their left foot, mm. they are absolutely furious at the fact they have to use the other side uh, of their no. body. Do you uh, know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think they actually they obviously don't understand. Because they're young, but of they? course. But it's, it's chaos if you actually ask them that like, you can only use your left foot. Uh, 
No, this is rubbish now. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's because it's, 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 it's they're, they're doing a drill your right foot, which they're competent at, and then you go to something where they're so incompetent 100%. at that it's, it it's, it's too, it's, like it's too, too fast. Right, yeah. uh, you need to like bleed it in some way as opposed yeah. to it's all left foot now. Mm. It's like when you go to train, you're playing fives or shooting settings, one touch or two touch. Like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. man, it's not even funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> But um, so, that's your team. Is that your team, Brett? Brett yeah, so yeah. Ivan, Brent, Lundy, Brandon, Brandon, Lundy, um, Franco, yeah, Brady, so to Simmons. Simmons. Yeah, yeah. I'll Is go it? with that. I'll go with those boys. So, there's three five side teams so far. Bay last week reckons his five side team is a pumped um, Ali's. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how what Bay's going to think against this team. Well, did, did, he, did he have a keeper or not? They've all had keepers. Yeah, yeah. He had the current keeper, the Rockdale keeper, so he just put some balls in the box and he'll be yeah, right. in no one's land. <laughs> well, I mean, I could always put Paul Galimi instead of Ivan because the amount of times he is like, you know, stopped the ball on the line with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it, that keeper. Yeah. Yeah, it's outstanding. What, what I was going to ask as well, what I, I keep meaning to ask people is, what's your match day routine? Well, kick off. We'll go for a seven thirty kick off. <laughs> Talk me through your ten by routine. Oh, seven. If it's seven thirty kick off, that's pretty. That's seven. Pretty seven. Sorry, when do you usually kick off? Seven. We, we kick off at half five. We kick off. Well, at the moment at four thirty at Leichhardt Oval. Okay, we'll go four thirty. We'll go home game. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's go. Start from. Let's go from Friday night. Do you do Friday night. We are seven o'clock every Saturday night. Yeah, yeah we're five thirty. That's pretty late though. If you want to go out after like well, that, you can't. Night you can't. Yeah. Soon as life's done. Yeah, far out. Um, Friday night, say Friday night, what are you doing? Do you, do you consider the Saturday game or are you just like, that's nah, easy? Oh, sure, it doesn't, it doesn't consider that. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't um, know why they make it pro. <laughs> 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 nah, I, I don't know, probably just have a quiet one. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 29 now, I'm, you know, I'm past it anyway in terms of going out really. Like every now and then with the boys, but at the moment I'm, I'm pretty much just chilling at home playing FIFA or whatever yeah. um, on a Friday night. After. Like we train on Fridays anyway, so. Yeah. Well, that, that helps. That what's your, your food on a Friday night? On a Friday night, I'd probably go for like a, a chicken salad or some pasta, just carb load. Um, yeah, Gaffer's not listening, mate. You can, you can tell oh, us. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play with Paris. Yeah, it is pretty chill. Um, but yeah, then, like to be fair, I do get to bed quite late. Mm-hmm. On, a, on a Friday night, like after training. Um, I'm not the best at getting to bed early, to mm-hmm. be honest with you. That's a habit that I've always tried to get a bit better at, but, um, you know. What's late? What are you talking about late? You're talking like past midnight, one o'clock, oh, yeah. oh, Easily. Late, late on Easily. Three in the morning? Like one thirty, two. Oh, the level of milk, mate. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just like an insomnia. I just, my mind's just racing at night. But anyway. Um, that's me. That's yeah. me. I'm used to it. And then obviously going into the next day, I wake up late. So probably wake up about like 10, 30, 11. So many boys see you don't wake up till half time. Bro, <laughs> 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 so it's so a big, big sleep in on, uh, on game day always. Um, and the boys always take the piss out of it. Uh, like, oh, you just woke up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had a boy in, I'm, I'm only on, who text or turned up to the video video session. Mm. Sorry I'm late, I slept in. At nighttime video session? Nighttime video session. Oh, I've done that before. At, at Sydney FC Youth, we had a two o'clock session in the Again, afternoon. why did I make pro? I, 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 I slept in and I missed my alarm. I rocked up, the session was just ending. And Steve Corrick is just like, look mate, I'm, I'm not even angry. I just don't know how someone can sleep in. <laughs> That's, I was like as well, I was like, Fair play, mate, but how have you managed yeah, to sleep in? Yeah, literally. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Uh, so you sleep in, what's, bre- what's breakfast or lunch? Uh, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I just have some some oats and then you know, a banana, keep it light. I don't really like having too much in my stomach, to be honest. Yeah, a lot of positive. Game day, yeah. Um, then just a coffee and, yeah, get some, some Powerade. Um, just sip that the rest of the day. I just, I, I'll go into the game pretty, pretty, pretty light. light. Yeah. yeah, just like to... You know, be empty stomach, so you're hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then what, yeah, game, finish game, and post-match, do you just get dinner at Arca? Um, Sometimes, yeah. like with the boys. I mean, last game, or, I mean, if it's home game around like that, there's so many like nice restaurants, so a lot of the boys just go eat after as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too 
too superstitious and whatnot on game day. Like I just try and keep things simple. To mm. be honest with you, just sleep. As long as, yeah, just, just as long as I have a good sleep, <laughs> my sleep. Just come in buzzing, like get the boys going. I can't so, believe so yeah. you only have oats and a banana before you play. Doesn't move. Doesn't have to move. Yeah. Everyone's in his back pocket. Or, or sushi. Those are probably the three things that I have. Yeah, well. Oh, so she's like, that's, that's banana, oats, sushi, that's your carbs. Oh, or, oh, yeah. Obviously, the Friday night, depending on what you, if you're carb loading the Friday night, you said you're probably, Friday night is probably more important yeah, than the Saturday. No, I just feel like heavy if I eat too much on game day. Well, I always say to players, I always say on the Friday night, if you can get the Friday night, the Saturday's not much of, as much of an issue. Because if you can carb load on the Friday, sort of 36 hours prior, because everyone has got their little nuances on the game day. Some people don't like to eat, some people like to eat, some people have got a routine yeah. they've always had. Yeah. So if you don't want to mess with that too much, so it's like, oh, here's some things to like, Powerade or a coffee or the wee tricks of the trade, a wee bit of carbs at least, low yeah. fat, but then on a Friday, just make sure you get the Friday right. Yeah. I think yeah. that, because then it's Saturday allow people to have Spec- a routine. Especially for us keepers, mate. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's proper different for everyone though, isn't it? Like my like my housemate, Kuda. Um, he got called up for the Fitzroy Rose day? Yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah he, and he plays the RP at left back. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, like I live with him over, over at Bondi. Like I wake up at midday, he's already had like a three course meal and like still going. You know what I mean? I don't know how he plays on that much food, yeah. but like his metabolism must just be like going all the time. Whereas me, I just like have a little nibble and then I'm sweet to start yeah, right uh, yeah. I felt this. So, yeah, it's different. Class, well, let us hold on before we go. Is there anything in that notepad about other players you want to drop in? There's a there's a couple of stories. I go on. Like, come on. I don't know. Like, <laughs> no, well, I didn't know if you're gonna ask me like, about other stuff or not. So I just yeah, well, mate, will you let you lead no. the way? This section was all about you. You can you can lead this. Oh man, what do I got for you? I right, guess any you've got enough there. I don't know. It was only if it popped up really. Well, um, you just just so popped what up. I don't, right? You just give me the notepad. <laughs> I'll find a way to question or to frame the question with what's in that notepad. <laughs> yeah, it's just popped up, mate. So well, there, there, there's countless stories that I've got about about Paul Galimi. There you go. Give us, give but us like, a couple. Oh man. Well, there's one. There was one time like Adelaide away away trip um, in the FFA Cup, and you know the boys won. We, we I don't know why they always do this at RPA, but we get like four a.m. like flights out. So like you go out after you win. And what do you mean four flights after flight fly back? Yeah, it's a fly oh, back. Oh, the worst. So like no one's even sleeping. Like, everyone's ah, going out and then getting back on the bus. It's all still rowdy and uh, it's rough. Yeah, no, nah, I better not, better not mention that one about Paul, to be honest. Oh, you just, <laughs> <laughs> you've just set the stage and then you <laughs> pull the pin. It, you can't, you can't, you can't. You can edit that. it, mate. No, all right, all right, I'll give you another one. Look, in pre-season, like this is probably like six seasons ago now, back when, when Lundy was still part of the team. And um, if, if you know a guy called Blake Thompson, no. um, he's an eccentric fella. Like, if you, <laughs> honestly, if you, if you hadn't met him before, you'd be like, oh, whoa, he's, he's different, you know what I mean? And um, just the boys, like, just taking the piss. He, he was, like, pretty, he was quite, quite religious. Is like, this at Apia? Yeah, at yeah. Apia um, in preseason. And, you know, we're at the hotel. We went for, like, a team walk through the city and whatnot. And um, with, with Blake, like, he was quite like overly zealous and overly like religious at times. And, you know, obviously the football boys, his bands are just taking the piss. They're like, oh yeah, on this, um, on this walk, cause Blake was a new player, right? Um, so like, oh, let's take the piss. Let's all, let's all bring out Bibles and, and, um, <laughs> and, pull, and pull them out in the middle of town and, and start doing a scripture reading. So we were on this walk and everyone's like got their Bibles in their back pocket. What did you get? Everyone like, oh, the Bible for the hotel room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, like, yeah, 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 okay. Just because I went and bought a Bible. Yeah, yeah. And I like, wasn't, there wasn't like Ill, any ill intent about it whatsoever. It was just to take this because he was just, you know, so vocal about it all the time in terms of like the, the religious stuff. And so we go on the walk and then we, we get to the middle of town and um, I think Parisi and. Um, and, and Uch would just say, all right, boys, let's, let's do some stretching, blah, 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 like, because it was like pre-game or something. And then, um, and then we all pulled our Bibles out. And then, and it, like, I think we called him out. Um, it was like, oh, Blake, you can start us off. And he was just like, what the? Like, <laughs> it, like no, because he, he didn't bring it because we all hit it. He didn't like, bring his Bible? No, he yeah, didn't. Unbelievable. No, he, he wasn't, to be fair, he wasn't, he wasn't too happy about it. But, oh, did um, not take it well, no? Yeah, no, but, but you know. Did you do the reading, but most importantly? We did, but like, everyone was just cracking up during it. But That yeah. is quite funny, though, to be fair. That's ah, like the, the ones where you've got 
you're going on a team day out or a night out and you get somebody wearing the wrong gear or Aye. those ones are the best man yeah 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 so um yeah he, he was a funny character i think so, he went when he played uh for mount druitt as well um after that and went in brisbane and whatnot yeah he ended up on married at first sight and i think getting close to winning it or something as well oh really <laughs> yeah. oh, just... can you win married at first sight is that how it works i don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you get married you win i don't know how it works but, um, what is, uh... So back to this poll on the Adelaide. I can't, I can't mention that one. <laughs> that one's like a little bit too X-rated, but uh, something similar to it when I, like on on a end of season trip, um, we like the first night we had this penthouse in um, in Brisbane. We had just won the league, I think, at Arpia. and fair play of the club. Like one of the sponsors said, look, if like, in that season we had beaten. Um, Melbourne victory and they had just won the A-League oh, so it was like a big oh, thing right. and they sort of incentivise it like oh if you beat Melbourne victory by a baby we'll, 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 <laughs> give you, we'll give you 20 grand oh right, right. Wow. and they lived up to it the sponsor gave us 20 grand so we're like alright straight in the kitty yeah. um, end of season trip Imagine. went to Gold Coast it's, um, some penthouse um, in, in Gold Coast one of the hotels and you know first night like had like um, uh, like a few girls like serving drinks this that and the other Anyway, like, long story short, like I, I ended up in 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 bed with one. Yeah, but like Parisi said, like strictly at the start, like no cuddling, right? Um, and I wake up in the morning and there's a picture in the group chat, and it, it's just it's just him with his balls on my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cuddling this. I'm cuddling this chair. I've got the photo. Like I can still send it to you. <laughs> I'm like cuddling this girl, and he's got a ball on my head. That was great good. In the group right? chat. So yeah, I got done no cuddling. Um, that was a fine. And, <laughs> and yeah, that, that's a good story. So you woke up cuddling the witches? Yeah. Look, isn't this five side team the one on man? Yeah. Um, yeah, there's 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 a few others, but yeah. No, I felt those, mate. That's good. Good. Uh what was the lad, what was the Bible guy called? Blake Thompson. Blake Thompson, Bible Blake. Okay. Right, cool. And he's still playing? I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. No, I don't I think know. he lives in um, Gold Coast now. <laughs> Wait, just <us>, waiter. <laughs> <laughs> right, mate, we'll go to the weekend's games. We'll right. get this. predictions, mate. So I have some questions on this weekend's games. Obviously, I put the big ones in. Um, for you, it's Spirit, you're playing Central Coast Mariners. Is this on this list? Yeah, it's on us. So, so we're just going to go through. I've actually just wrote a wee bit about the four games in MPL one. Um, oh yeah, okay, I yeah, get yeah, yeah. Right. So, how are you boys feeling going into the game in terms of confidence? It's not been confidence is good, mate. I think everyone. Yeah. You've been close in every game. Just all like you're. I think if we're playing, I think if we were playing badly and losing the games, it'd be different. But we're not really playing badly. The only game we probably weren't. As good as Sydney FC game, the first game of the season, which is always tricky playing an A League club in the first game of the season because they're, they're f- flying. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, mate, any like Marconi, obviously will be up there. Played very, very, very well against the George City. We'll be up there. Yeah. Probably should have took something for that game. We've had two red cards as well against Wanderers. Wanderers top of the league at the moment. We were seven points. Well, seven, seven, minutes. seven minutes away for him, we won so we're, we're there. Simon's a dirty player. <laughs> <laughs> Simon's, uh, so that's, so Richie's back. Yeah. Um, Richie's been missing the last few weeks, massive player for him, he's been a top goal scorer the last two years. Mickey Conestabo is like... Is he still playing a 10 or wing or... Something? Richie's winger, 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 mostly winger. Um, Mikey goes? Mikey's like, I, I don't want to give a set date, but it's like, he's not far off, not this month, but yeah, it could be any time awesome. now. And then we've got Corey back. Kavanagh back, who's one of our best players. Yeah, Backmaz is... Backmaz is back, he was suspended last week, so he's yeah. back. Um, so, nah, mate, look, it's, it's again, Central Coast, these early clubs are tricky, so... Uh, every game's hard, mate, MPL. Yeah, of course. But, I, mate, I back the boys 100%. I think we're just like Sydney United were a few weeks ago, we just need a couple of, a couple of wins on the board, and I think we'll be absolutely fine, mate. I think it works out, so... Funny enough, I think it works out if... We've played six games, but... This I think this time last year after eight games sorry eight games last year, uh, we had seven points I think, right? And we've got three points at the moment or four points or something like that. So we're not far off. Yeah, we're like, yeah, you're yeah. A, couple of, a couple of games away for potentially being in the same position as you were despite yeah. the start. So, um, 
So, if you were to pick a winner on that game, Temba, who would it be? Central Coast? Or a way? Or, or, you, pick a, or you could pick a draw. Or a, yeah, or a draw. <clears throat> you Central, Central, Central Coast or Spirit? Yeah. Is it at... Is that Christy? Uh, Christy. Oh, I'm going to go Spirit. Good luck. I'm going to go Spirit. Gary? Ah, I'm going Spirit. I'm going draw. Nah, I'll go. <laughs> I'm going draw. <laughs> go, for the, go for the top, because I'm... Since Sydney United, go Sydney United first. Sydney United, I want. Um, that's what I've just written here. I'm going Sydney United. I think they'll have a bit of form. I don't think Sutherland will be as effective away from home as they are at home. Yeah, I mean, they've still got a lot of top players. Yeah, in that support. And, and obviously having um, having Pat um, and Tell Me back now, I think. He, yeah, he's, like, he's, he's galvanised, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, he's, he's, he's fresh. So he'll got goals in the locker now, haven't they? Yeah. So you're going Sydney United as well? Yeah, me as well. Sydney United. Um, St George FA versus Blacktown. Is that Saints versus Blacktown? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it? No. Aye. St George FA's Romero's one on. Yeah. You played at the weekend. Yeah. I can, I honestly, mate, I cannot get in right. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <it's St. George's laughs> FA's the Romero, FC's the other one. Right, okay. So it's it, okay, right. FA, FC. So the whole team's Romero. Yeah. <laughs> The Romero one. <laughs> we, we know so well, we know Romero. He'll love that. He'll love that. He'll love that. Um, St. George. It's a tough game. That's 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 that. I'm going to go. It's at St. George. I'm going to go. Well, so Black Town, two away games on the bounce. Yeah. Aye. Right. What about Boston Black? I think it's four home games at the start of the season. Aye. I'll go. I mean, small pitch. Black Town's got a lot of pace. Won't be able to use it very well. I'm going to go St. George to win. Okay. I wouldn't go as that far. Ah, oh, just go. You can, you can go whatever you, you, can go whatever you want. Ah, yeah. uh, you pick a draw as well if you want to cheat yourself. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't know if, if they'll be able to hold them out that long. You know what I mean? That's my question. Yeah. I just don't think they'll be able to hold them out that long. Oh, maybe I said, it could be a it could be a score draw. Do you know what I mean? Okay. They they could they could get a cheeky goal, but I think Blacktown's just got too much quality to let the whole game go by. And, and Perfect. They'll get. So you Yeah. I think would you go for a draw? No, I've not gone anyone yet. I don't know. I'll go St. George. Right, sweet. Has he got next? Wills and Wanderers? Oh, That's a big game, this Wills and Wanderers. I want to go Wills. Wills is yeah, good. Have you gone Wills straight away? Is, Wills. It, is it at Wanderers? Is that, no, no, it's, it's at, at Wills. It's at Wills. And Wanderers, I don't think they've played. This will be their second test. They played Rockdale at home. Rockdale beat them 3-2, but it was pretty convincing. And I think, I think Wills are too strong. Goals physical. In the last two games. I know. Very physical team, but Wills and Wonders are younger lads. Mm. I, I'll be a good game. A lot, of a lot of space on the pitch, and Wonders obviously will utilise that, but I fancy Wills. Do you think this will be like one of the MPL 3 games, like a 7 1 or something? <laughs> uh, I doubt that. I think it'll be. I it'll be high scoring, it'll, but I don't know it'll be 7 1. It'll be a lot tighter, I think. I think it'll be tight as well, but I think Wills will win. I reckon. I think that might be a draw, you know. Draw? Yeah. I'll do back, like. Wonder has got a quality. It's on grass as well. It's in a decent. Is that yeah, win? Uh, I'd assume so, mate. I'd assume the games have been there so far. No, Wonder, mate. Wonder's played some very good stuff, mm. and they're very well organised. Mm. So and they're fit, like they're yeah, yeah. Healthy, of course. I just think if it gets physical again, like you look at Lockie Scott again, with like some younger boys marking him, I think he yeah. would just toss him around, man. Mm. But again, if Wonder's win, it wouldn't be a shock because Wonder started brilliant. So you're going draw ten? Is that top two? That one, yeah. Are Wonder's and Wolves top two, isn't it? Possibly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I can't see Wolves like dropping, like losing the game. Nah, yeah, yeah, okay. Against against Wanderers, so I think that you know it it'd probably work out to be a, a draw. Right, right, me on Mount Druitt. Right, me on Mount Druitt. Mount Druitt haven't lost. I'll go Mount Druitt. Mount Druitt. Yeah. Do you know much about MPL two in terms of results? Oh no, oh I know, I know about the teams and what yeah, yeah. like Druitt, obviously. Yeah, good can you know, do been used to them the last couple of years in, in MPL1. Did you enjoy um, going to Pop and Data? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone did, to be honest with you, unless they lived around the corner. But um, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing really well at the moment, so I can't really see them letting up. I'm going to go draw. No, I don't like the draws. It's a bit of a cop out, man. No, it's not. I, you just, I, I think we should get more points for a draw if you get a draw right. No, <laughs> I thought that initially, but then I thought about it. You just, it's a bit of a cop out. So you just go draw all the time because. Nah, rubbish. Well, the likelihood is you're going to lose. No, <laughs> if you get draw, I'm just saying if you're behind by say six points and you just go draw, 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 draw by a chance. <laughs> you get one or two. Nah, you're just, you're just winging it. Anyway, yeah, you're not doing that. 
Dan de second wie dan Northern, Northern Tigers versus MacArthur Bulls. Hebben ook Tigers? Ja, yeah, Tigers. Naam doen Tigers as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more. Fucking hell, it's a long so, one. So, Dunbar are uh, play, playing Bankstown City. I think for me the leveler potentially is the fact that it's at Fraser Park. Bankstown. Bankstown. Bankstown, how are you about form? <coughs> Dunbar have only picked up 5 points. Yeah, I've got Bankstown. I'm going Bankstown as well. Mepin are at home to Bonnie Rig. I want to go draw for some bonus points. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go draw. Draw? I agree. I think they'll, they'll push hard and they'll, they'll get a point. I'm going to go to P. Yeah? Yeah. But we played them during the week and they get a draw the week before against Bulls. Then they beat us 4-0. Oh, the P are decent. I'm just, saying Bonner, I'm just assuming Bonner are going to get some points on the board sooner or later. Uh, well, we'll see. Yeah, I'll, the coach is good as well, Steve. Ah, yes, I have. Steve's a nice guy. Um, in the MPL 3, now it's just a complete. Stan Watt at home to South Coast Flames. Stan Watt have started very well. Stan Watt have started really well, South Coast Flames. And West Hawks, mate. Sorry about that. 2024. Sorry about that. Sorry, and West Hawks. Timber, Stan Watt, South Coast Flames. And a West Hawks, sorry. South Coast Flames. Still. And a West Hawks. <laughs> South Coast Flames are... I'm going to go draw. Straight back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mounties versus... That's a good game. Jets are at home to Mounties, obviously. Mounties are... Mounties scored, yeah, man, still scored a lot of goals, but Jets just scored seven against Parramatta. Yeah. I'm going Mounties. Nah, I'm going to go Mounties as well. Rage Parramatta. Mm -hmm. I reckon there's, like, there's a difference between like a normal away, like away day and then like... You know, you're going to Newcastle. Ah, right? yeah, I mean, they're they're going to be focused for you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not just like... A wee 30-minute trip, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. they're setting out for the day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Rage, Parramatta. I, I mean, Parramatta beat 7-1, man. Rage, have, have they won a game yet, Rage? I have they won last week. No, that's Drew, they drew two, two. week before they won. I'll go... Oh, I'm going to back Randall Rage. I usually do. Randall Rage. Timber? Mm. I don't know. Draw, I think. I'm going to draw as well. This guy loves it. He's a shaft. Yeah. Absolute shaft. Three draws, right? I bet they're all right. Right, hey, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Camden at home to Fraser Park. I'll go Camden because Camden's a nightmare to go to. Okay. That's true. That is a nightmare to go to. I just want to see what their score was last week at home. They lost last No, they won last week. No, they lost away at Maxon 4 1. Fraser Park lost 3 0. Yeah, right. Both aren't great. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's off the fence. Are you seen Temper? I know you're just guessing, mate. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> no, nah, well, to be fair, I know a little bit about Cam. Oh, do you? I give us what you know. Because uh, Sean and, and Joshy, they, they're from Cam. Oh, they are. That's, that's their local team. Oh, back Camden, yeah, back boys. And they're always like, oh, you know, as soon as we finish up here, going to show Cam. Ah, so. Nah, back Cam, we'll back uh, the boys to get the win. Yeah, yeah, back Camden? Camden, yeah. Class. Right, so the league, so the top, we've got Ali is at the top with eight points. He topped Bay yesterday. Bay's on seven. Seven. And then six is Adrian. Correct. Five is. Five is And Wesley's on two. Wesley's three or on two. So we've not had enough people to get below top t top six. So. Nah. So ten bad. We've obviously said we'll get the top, top six. six. Mm -hmm. We'll do a thing towards the end of the season, and it'll be prize. If you get twelve out of twelve, you get a bottle of champagne. Mentioned that already. So. Yeah, yeah what's we'll up? <laughs> um, well, that's one of your sponsors. Ace of Spades. <laughs> Ace of Spades. What's that? Is that a good one? It's like 500 bucks or something. Is it? Mm. Uh, Sounds like you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not going to be Ace of Spades. <laughs> um, right, mate. Thanks very much for your time. Appreciate it. No worries. Sorted, yeah, it was great. Mate, thanks for coming on. Sorted. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it was good a pleasure. Good luck. Who you got this weekend again? Um, that's a good question, that. Oh, my oh, God. Come on, you. Mate, I just turn up, train, and play, really. Like. St. George. There you go, St. George, George. Oh, they, yes. play, they play at Rockdale, so... Yes, they play um, at London. Is that Sunday? Uh, Sunday? Yeah. Sunday? You don't, you don't know what day it is, so oh, you're yeah, playing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, just, just train. Just turns up on Friday night and finds out when yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. I'll that, to be fair. Right. Hey, mate, well, um, sorted. Done. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Good man. Sorted.